We are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled Who Could Actually Be Redeemed? Part 1 of 11 on Between Master and Disciples on July 29, 2020. Warning, you might find the content herein disturbing, but the truth must be revealed. Hi, Master. Hello. Hi, Hi Master. <laughs> what a day, huh? Yes. <laughs> the guy got up uh, in the wrong side of the bed this morning or something. <laughs> it's me. It's me. I got up the wrong side of the bed. How are you guys? How are you? We're great, Master. You still happy and contented? Yes, Master. It's good to hear. Good to hear. And Master, how are you? Oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. Just uh, very, very busy indeed, you know, physical and spiritual. <laughs> yes, Master. Yeah, I told you, it's quite a fit to to be my own laundryman, uh, housekeeper, house cleaner, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, cameraman, uh, lighting technician, and, you know. Wow, you can do everything. Yeah, conference. Uh, how you say? <laughs> Conference. Answer, answer, uh, what? Reception. <laughs> I heard that you have some question, you know, from uh, your sister. Yes, Master. The beautiful blonde there. Yeah. <laughs> master, master mentioned that there's some news, uh, new news to share, and we're excited to hear it. Could Master please share it with us? Oh, yes, of course. I, I wrote it in uh, my diary, and... I I wanted to to tell you on the twenty fourth or twenty fifth of July already, but then things doesn't quite work out well because I'm too busy, you know, arranging my own quarter and keep moving and changing and you know and uh, mm -hmm. so I wasn't quite fit. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So today it's good that uh, you report to me that you have questions. So we. Do it all together, yeah? Yes. Thank you, Master. I can read it for you, yeah. Oh, actually, it's on on 24th of July, but I didn't have enough space on the 24th, so I wrote it on the 25th. I, I wrote it here, 24th July 2020. Right, I'll read it for you, okay? Yes, Master. Yes. Thank you for your support. I heard it loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> My ego probably likes it. <laughs> Anyway, I because it was something that saddened me very much. Yeah, I'm sorry that is uh, not quite so exciting like you expect. You know, there is uh, not uh, nothing so exciting nowadays. Uh, yeah. Okay, I read to you first. Okay, huh? Okay, yes, yes master. As of the 24th of July, this is. Uh, the unofficial uh, numbers of people who contracted the COVID-19 is very far from the news or official numbers. Yes, Master. I have to tell you guys so that our brothers and sisters also know, okay, huh? Yes, Master. Otherwise, it's a very sad thing. I, I don't want to say it, but I have to so that you and our brother and sister, at least the initiate, you know, be more careful, okay? Yes, Master. I'm not sure if outside people even listen at all. Yes, Master. Okay, as of the 24th of July, this is what I check inside, okay? This is the inside news, not, not official news, okay? Yes, Master. Haven't told me, yeah? I checked. Because I was quite worried about, uh, about the, the, the trend, you know, the... I would say the trend of the pandemic is keep going and going before that. Yes. Before twenty fourth of July. And I didn't I didn't catch any news since then. So uh twenty fourth of July we have in the whole world one billion three million three hundred twenty two thousand four hundred sixty two COVID nineteen in infected people. Aww. 
Only I'm talking about infection. I don't talk about the dying and all that. Okay, huh? Yes, Master. And of course, they some are dying also. Yeah. Yes, yes Master. Master. But as of today, twenty ninth of July, two thousand twenty. We have more. Okay, it's uh, it's always how you say going up in number. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. As for today, it's one billion. Five million four hundred thirty-two thousand two hundred seventy-one COVID nineteen victims, not counting the dead. Oh, so sad. So now, uh, I want to to read you the message, okay? Yes, Master. Thank you. That I wanted to tell on the twenty-fourth of July, but I didn't. It's in my uh, diary on. Uh, yeah, okay, here it is. Message to all who hear. I just wrote this short, okay? Yeah. Yes, Master. I mean, it's not like a whole structure of a sentence, okay? Yeah. Yes, Master. So I just read as is, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Uh, live a self sustainable as much as can. Yes, uh, like if you have land, you grow crops, fruit trees, uh, etc. Yeah, yes, mm. and vegetable. Whenever you go out, fully protected gear, wear headgear also. You know, like your hat and and uh, uh, to cover hair as well, and goggle for your eyes. Yes, overall for the body, and wash immediately after. Returning home, <laughs> I say after home because I just wrote it quick, you know. Okay, I don't have a lot of time to to make like an essay here. So, oh well, I say I want to tell you that I'm still here <laughs> and <laughs> fighting for you. We know, Master. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. I cannot help to stop the pandemic right now. I can minimize, but I cannot help completely because, as I told you before. Once the the will of the karmic consequences already turn on, it's uh, impossible to stop it. Okay? Yes, master. But I have warned people in advance. I I warned you guys already also before. Yeah. Mm. Yes. And, and I warned people officially on our TV as well. So anyway, I am still here fighting for you, and the people who die, I will take care if they are. Your relative, if they have seen me or my photo, or if they're not possessed by zealous demons uh, inside, meaning the soul have been gone, you know, alive body or dead body, they're just the uh, demons inside. Okay? Thank you. Yes, Master. I take care of whomever I can. The soul, the souls. I cannot stop the pandemic, but I will take care of the souls of the people who are sincere, who repent, and Especially your relatives and friends, okay? Thank your you, Master. Right. Okay, another one. Change job if can, so that you can work at home. Or you could ask your company whether or not you could work from home. It would be maybe safer. Save a lot of time for you in the traffic. Also save, you know, the environment from bad pollution. Or restaurants open just for takeout, yeah? Not sit in. All vegan products increase, make more. I I'm just wrote it short, so I read it short also. Okay, huh? Yeah. Yes, Mister. Uh, all vegan product be more uh, for sending. You know, like uh, people order and we send. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everywhere. Yeah. Upgrade if needed. Yeah. Meditate as much as free time allows. Any time, any minutes, anywhere. For self protection and world vegan. For animals, no more suffering. Thus, humans, consequently, also no more hell karma. So, uh, those who already saw the cruelty uh, shown by film or videos, or even on our internet, about animals suffering and, and languishing and torturous 
life and death, but still eat meat or fish or eggs or dairy will not be redeemable. So take heed, tell your family and friends to beware and to repent and to change their lifestyle into a benevolent one. Vegan diet is the answer, okay? Yes, Master. And the people who are, for example, who are vegan for any reason, uh, but uh, die, it's easier for me to take care of their soul, to help their soul, to go to a higher level of heaven. Hmm? Yes, Master. But the people who keep eating meat, despite the UN warning, despite all the scientists' report, despite all the films showing all the cruelty and, and uh, incredible inhumane uh, practice of animals, uh, factory, and still eating meat, still don't change, then these people are not redeemable, okay? All right. Uh, that's what I wanted to tell you. Sorry, it's not as exciting as it is. It's important message. Thank you, Master. Uh, what is it here? I have written something. Ah, yeah, yeah, on the 23rd, I'm written something here. Yeah, I just read that, see, yeah, I don't remember what it is. Uh, 11.43 p.m., done with meditation marathon to redeem self <laughs> from spiritual loss, thanks to all uh, standing by help. Uh, you know, Yosku and other goddesses beyond. Uh, should I celebrate with staff? No. <laughs> I I wrote it to my question, but I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at the 23.40 hours, you know, uh, before midnight, this is the news was told to me, you know, okay? Because I was so so exhausted with this uh, marathon meditation, although elated, although elated, but also exhausted, because I have to really try very hard to redeem myself, yeah? Yes. I lost too much, too much, too much. I lost all the way up to minus even, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, because even though I'm in retreat, but we still do some conference, yeah, sometime, and it's very recent, and also the BMD, you know, air on TV? Yes, yes. yes. All this will cost me spiritual uh, value, okay? It's not, it's not life for nothing, yeah? Okay, huh? Yeah. Yes, Master. Yeah, because people, they have heavy karma. Huh? So uh, I was reported uh, by whom here is it? I never mind, I just read it and then I probably know who is at the end. <laughs> okay, huh? Yeah. Yes, Master. Mm. Uh, 23, 23.40, mean 11.40 at night, you know? Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, quotation mark. Master loving kindness and diligence has already reversed lots spiritual treasures. A, and a quotation mark. Ah, that is OUP, mean original universe protectors, yeah? Oh. And I say thanks for helping and reporting, yeah. And I say, mine. And I'm so glad. <laughs> Why are all keep praising me, not feel as if I am really kind of loving or anything? Uh, many exclamation marks. In fact, you are all so kind. Even geckos, spiders, and birds, you know, are, are doing best capacity to warn and protect me in this dangerous physical domain in my demanding mission. I am so touched and in debt to all of you in the vast creation, from your school goddesses to all living... All living what? A tiny... <laughs> I couldn't even read my own writing. <laughs> <laughs> to all living tiny creatures, love you, love you so. God bless you all forever. You will all go to heaven, liberated uh, from a lowly existence for eternity. Love, 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 love. 
Yeah. Uh, and then mid at midnight on the next day, I say suddenly, look so young, much, much younger. Hoorah! Hope this will last. <laughs> it didn't last. It didn't last. <laughs> It was from the marathon meditation, I guess. I don't always have enough time to marathon. Yeah. Uh, there's another thing is not all spiders are good. Nah? The one that I that helped me, they are the flat one, the brown color, you know, and the round, uh, the body is round. Huh? Yes. The one that I fed with bread, they are not all that kind. They try to, to, to stop me from going outside. Mm. To do some some things, uh, because they wish me fail. Oh. Yeah, I say here. I ask why, why is that? And uh, I don't know who answer me here. <laughs> I'm trying to arrange something to clean away the ants and the insect and all that to avoid. And then they try to stop me because they 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 kind of span the web web everywhere, so I could not get out to where I want it. You know. So I said, why did you do this? And they didn't answer. So I have to shoot them away. I said, I need the place. I'm sorry. You have you have the whole world and the whole God and the whole everything you want. It's just this corner. Leave it for me. Yeah. I don't need a lot. I don't want a lot. Just one corner in the world for me to have peace to work and to meditate for the world and for all of you. Animals, insects also. So do not try to make trouble for me. And then, well, I don't know who answered me. I say why, and they they say the spider wish you fail. Oh. Yeah. That's why I try to stop you moving outside, so you will have peace with ants. Oh. Okay. Mm. The spider, the one that I fed the bread with, yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, you know there was the the spider with a round body, yeah, and big one, uh, and small one. I went to a. a, a a place, small place to look at for something, and there was a pregnant, you know, she carried uh, the round kind of uh, this uh, puffy kind of this in front of her stomach, because she is pregnant, yeah. yeah. And you can see it, that is the, that is the baby is inside, that the white thing. And she came and told me, uh, you know, to something, I forgot what it is. And I said, okay, I knew already. Other spider also told me, thank you very much, and try not to eat living things, eat the dead one or the discarded one. And when you die, I take you to heaven, for sure. Wow. I didn't have camera with me. And then I wanted to take a photo of her to show you the, what kind of spider I have seen before. You understand the one that came and and uh, rescued me from the snake? Yes. Yeah, that's similar to her, it's just bigger. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you see the light brown color with the round body, that, that's the type. That's uh, so kind. Yes. Uh -huh. After she told me what she told me, and then uh, I said to her, take care of yourself and your children and your stomach and all that. And then she left. And I regret later because she looked like the, the spider that helped save my life in the storeroom, uh -huh. other place. And I regret not to take her photograph, understand me? Yes, Master. Because I want to show you guys that this is type of the, the spider, okay? Because on our TV they show another kind of spider. This kind of spider, I don't see they weaving web or anything. They just run around. Yes, Master. Yeah, the brown one and the round look like a crab, you know? Yes. Yeah. So I regret I didn't take her photo. Maybe I didn't have a camera with me. I met her in the other place, okay? In in the same environment, it's just in another house, yeah? Yes, Master. Well, I was doing something. And then when I came back to my own room, I regret. I said, oh, I could have taken her photograph so to show my team, you know? Yeah, the kind. Not the same one, but, the, you know, the type. Yes, Master. And I said, oh, spider, I forgot to take your photograph. Can you somehow come back somewhere, <laughs> come to my house? <laughs> I'm just saying like that repeatedly a few times, yeah? Yes. And lo and behold, in about same day, just a way later, yeah? Because it's for her, it takes a long time to, to crawl such a long way, you know? Yes, Master. 
It's not far, but it's just for her. Small thing and with the babies and her stomach like that. You know, in a white pouch, yeah? Yes. Look like a pill, you know, round and white. Yes, yeah. Master. And then and then she came. But I was I did not see her, you know. I wanted to spray water to spray away some dead insect, yeah? Yes. And she was so scared, she ran away, and I saw her with her stomach. I said, oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I didn't hit her, you know, with the water, but the noise and the wetness, you know, I spray a little bit, droplets. Yes. Yeah, I said, okay, okay, go away. Protect yourself and your baby. I'm so sorry, I did not, I did not see you. Oh. So I didn't catch her ever since. She must have been scared to death by now. <laughs> she won't come back. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You know, all these animals, even insects, and, you know, even up to the spider and gecko like that, they touched my heart so, so, so much. No. Is it truly like that, like in the Bible, say? Ask the bird and they will tell you, you know? Yes. Talk to the fish and they will guide you, something like that, yeah? About animals, that they will help you. Yes, they really. Too. They're really your helpers. Even the gecko, so small, like my mm-hmm. thumb. Yeah. And the spider, she's, uh, she's bigger than my thumb. Yeah. But, and then, the, of course, the, the A legs, yeah? Yes. Oh, my God. She came. Oh, it's so sweet. Crawling all the way, and, and I did not see her. She was in a very obvious place, but I was so busy trying hard to, to get rid of the dead insect. I explained that I did not notice. And that's how she got uh, scared and ran away. I feel so sorry. I keep telling apology. I can say, oh, I'm so sorry, really. Forgive me, forgive me. I did not mean to scare you. I didn't mean to harm your baby. Please take good care of yourself. Yeah. And that is the story of the spider. Many different also even tiny one also came and and tell me what did the spider told me this afternoon again oh man i have no time to write it now i forgot the very little one uh, oh yeah okay because I, I was too much disturbed you know recently so much uh, you know trouble with our work yeah mm. yes every show has trouble you know Right? Yeah. yeah. Everybody's in trouble also. So I thought maybe I have to, to move. Also, many insects came to me. This, that kind of colorful spider came and, and obstructed me like that. I said maybe I should move to another place more peaceful. So the spiders came, a couple of them, tell me, stay. Stay here. It's safer for you. Wow. I wanted to move, I packed some things already, and then they all come rushing. And the birds even, ah, yeah, before I forget, the birds came in hundreds of them. Wow. Hundreds or thousands, I don't know. Suddenly they came from nowhere, they came in, chipping all over the outside, you know, every little corner, they chipping everywhere. They told me, don't go, don't go, please stay here. I said, what then? And they told me, if you go, the negative is waiting to harm you, on the road. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I'm here more protected, but if I go on the road, you know, I might not be that protected. And it might be passing through their stronghold, you understand? Yes. yes. Then they, they might harm me on the road. So I didn't move again, but I had to rearrange my things again. Oh. <laughs> Unpacking, rearranging. Yeah. Tell me I still look good. Yeah, you look beautiful. <laughs> That is because you don't see the sweat. <laughs> yeah, that I have been working all day to rearrange things, making the light, you know, for the camera and preparing this and that, uh, you know, preparing the corner to uh, not so crowded or not so uh, bad looking, so the, 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 how you say, the editor don't have to work so hard to, to cover. <laughs> to cover the, the background, you know? Yes, yeah. <laughs> I don't always have time to, to prepare, so sometimes they work very hard. I have to thank them for that, the editors, you know? Yes. Because they have to cover the background, yeah? Yeah. I think this time they don't have to. <laughs> <laughs>
just the curtain and the wooden wall, I think they don't have to cover anymore. All right, so these are the things that I kind of want to tell you. I don't know anything else. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, one of my dogs did not eat. Did I tell you that before? No, huh? Okay. Be I um, Because uh, every couple of days they report to me how the dogs are. Yeah. Yes. Recently, uh, one of the dogs, the one that who always pee in the house, to tell me something if I don't listen. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, when nobody else, no other dog dare to do it, she will always do it. She say, Master, safety is more important. She's scared, but she still do it. <laughs> You know, meaning, meaning she she's uh, very protected uh, of me. She doesn't mind if I scold her, yeah, for peeing in the house, yeah. yeah. She doesn't always do that. Only when something important, uh, she she want she want to warn me, but uh, but I don't always have time to see them. That's the thing. They are also my protector, but in retreat I'm not allowed to see them that much. Before when when. Uh, when one of the dog died, remember, yeah. I had to come and see them and comfort them. But uh, lately, I cannot anymore. Hmm? Yes, Master. Yes. Uh, but uh, she didn't eat again, and I asked her why. You know, she said she worries so much about my my uh, status because I lost too much uh, spiritual uh, worth. Yeah, oh. mm. not just worth, but youth. You know, this kind of eternal youth uh, is not. It's not the youth of the the physical appearance, yeah. Yes, yes. But it could also happen. Yeah, it's just that it's not doesn't mean that one. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sister. And then uh, she told me that I lost so much uh, youth and freedom and safety and worth and security. I lost so much, become zero. So that's why she could not eat. Oh. Yeah. Many times she could not eat, many days before that and before that and before that. I have to keep telling her, please take care of yourself so that you, 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 you be healthy and strong, that we can see each other again. Yes. Because if you are sick, then how can we see each other again? And you make me worry also. So sometimes she does eat, yeah. And she does eat better and better because I said to them, to the caretaker, if she doesn't eat, you have to, to report to me, writing through you guys, yeah? But if she eats okay, then, then it's fine. If she doesn't eat one time, two times per day, and a day, then it's all right. But if she doesn't eat like that for a couple of days, then, then we have to do something, you know? Yes. yes. Um, so I wrote here, she doesn't eat again, eat very little, worry about my spiritual, many aspects, loss, loss of worth, peace, youth, freedom. Safety. I so told her she must eat, sleep well, so me not worry about her. Uh, you, uh, the other girl, smaller one, also worry, saying uh, humans are not worthy for my sacrifice. Uh, so much loss become a worthless state like this. You know, the other dog, the smaller one, yeah. the, the, the clairvoyant one, they are all very good to me. Um, it doesn't have to, to, to be that you lose so much and then you become worthless state like this. That's what she said. I thank you all for, for your love and care. Ah, they told me don't watch the news anymore. Don't search into the news because that will make me lose even more, you know? Yes. Seeing face to face with the non practitioners, meat eater, wine drinker. Yeah. Yeah. In the news. Yeah. I said, I don't even read the news. I just, uh, I see the headline, you know, only read some some of it if it's important. But they say, no good, no good for me. Uh, so I said to uh, I will try to minimize some research with the negative and bad news because they're contacting indirectly through news with negative and normal world people is bad for, for me, especially in retreat, uh, because and sensitive, open energy. Oh. Uh, I don't write the whole sentence, just short. You understand? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the color spider tried to stop me weaving web anywhere that I need to go through. 
And so the other, the other spider answer me that uh, you know because that one uh, wish you fail. Wow. Yeah, fail in my mission and all that. Okay. Uh, and another one on another day also, you know, uh, the bigger black dog didn't eat. So I say, why? Why you not eat? Uh, she say, worry about about master. I say, what? She say. Your freedom, youth, peace, worth, not good, oh. not in a good state. You know, I just say not good, but it means it not good state. Okay, I, I wrote short in here, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I know, for the sake of all beings, I do it voluntarily. So it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, I say not worry. You must eat well, sleep good for me. So I'm not worried about you. Okay, she ate well here. Whenever she see me, but not there. And next one, ultimate master told me short, uh, short message. I said, "Bless you." He said, "Be free, have peace, safe, worth." Uh, so I asked, "Free what? <laughs> Be free what? I'm, I'm in retreat." So he said, "Free your life." I said, "What meaning?" He says, see no more negative news, meaning distangle myself from the world. Understand me? Yeah. Yes. yes. Normally that's what retreat means, yeah. But I had to because of special situation, yeah? Yes, Master. I'm never interested in watching news or anything anyway. You know that. It's just, it just those days, you know, because it's so urgent. Even Gekko told me again, another Gekko come. He say, for master peace, see not negative news. Wow. I say I only saw headline on the mobile phone, and he say still no good, no good. Detach yourself from that. Um, and what else here? That was on the twenties first of July. I keep reading <laughs> backward because originally I just want to read the other one, and then it seems like you know. Uh, there's some more, yeah. Mm, uh, 20 July is a terrible week, oh. a terrible, uh, more than a week. All host, uh, even bird, tip of the day, did all wrong, all redo, 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 exhausting. And, uh, you know, that not eating well again. Last time, same, worry too much about Master, poor girl. Uh, told her she must take care of herself for me. Oh. 19th of July. Beloved, uh, be free, be noble, be safe. Uh, you are your own master. I say, I know that. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is U- uh, OUP, okay? That means original universe gossip protectors, yeah? So I say, I know that. Just being someone else, Master is a problem, mm-hmm. uh, and all other problems follow suit because of that, <laughs> because of being a master of someone else. Yeah. So uh, on the 19th, I say, incredible, a spider insistingly weave a web outside on my balcony to zealously oppose my going outside, because if you move outdoor, peace will reign. Meaning uh, my personal peace, yeah? yeah, because I've been losing it. So I try to move out a little bit more, just to have more freedom. But Maya uses him to trouble me. I finally use water spray from the hose to shoo him away. Before that, I accidentally ruined his web in another corner of the balcony, opposite, and I apologized profusely. And I thought, okay, but then he ate all the leftover crumble web silk. Can you believe that? Oh. Yeah, normally when a web is ruined and it stay there. Yeah. Yeah. But he ate it all clean. Wow. Nothing left. And then he went to the, another corner and make another web there. Wow. Yeah, and in the opposite corner, nearby, just a one, no, one and a half meter apart, moved to make another web so big, you know, in the opposite corner. So I had to invite him to move to trees. Not fair that he does that, because I have been kind to his kin yeah. before, 
and always. So not all spiders are working with me, eh? I'm reading. <laughs> okay. The other type is better, kinder. The flatter one uh, looks similar to the crab are better. That's what I have written. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, that's it, huh? And now I let you ask your question. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Master, for sharing that. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, a couple, there's some more, but oh, never mind. We can never finish all that. I, oh, 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 oh. Uh, did I read anything about the 10th of July? I, I don't think so. Uh-huh. Okay. On the 10th of July, a, the squirrel came from all over, from the mountain where I fed them before. Yes. They came all this mileage to came to see me. Wow. So the whole group. Oh, the whole group, the whole group. And and then uh, I thought they're hungry. I wanted to feed them something. I gave whatever I have, but they did not eat. They just come and tell me something. Okay. Uh, and another one uh, dis- uh, discovery is, uh, because I read some of the uh, the story of the Buddha, you know? Mm. Yes, Master. The Buddha's say uh, some of the tree uh, deity, yeah? yeah? They have children also. I say, how you, how they make children? Do they have marriage and husband and all that? I say, no, they just make fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, whenever we eat the fruit, we also hurt them. Oh. Um, okay, okay, I read. I have, don't have a glass. I have to put the glass on, even though I look better without glass, no? <laughs> Who cares, eh? Yes. Uh, three uh, deities make children for yield. I ask them why you make children. Yeah, do you really need children? They say they make them just, just to contribute. You know, for yield. That's what I said. Yield. Uh, y i e l d, uh, meaning I, I guess contribution, right? Yes, to yield. Right. Yeah, to give. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that is the fruit. Thus, taking fruit from them hurt the trees. They need no partners to make children, just magic. Okay. Yeah. I remember one uh, one time I read something about the Lord Mahavira. He advised his uh, follower not to take fruit from the tree. Uh, the fruit, you know, like cucumber is okay, watermelon okay. Yeah. Yeah. Those are melon type, or maybe similar type like um, maybe those gurks and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. I think now, I, now it is uh, two and two together. Mm-hmm. Mm. So um, uh, the squirrel came. Yeah, and then I forgot. I in between I have the the trees, and now I remember the squirrel. When they when they came, they just run around my place. Yeah, <laughs> for a while, and and chipping and and talking and dancing, oh, wow. <laughs> and told me about that. Yeah. So the squirrel all came uh, and dancing around, and, and when I talked to them, I said, Hey, how are you, buddies? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming and visiting. And, and the squirrel, you know, they lay flat on their stomach. They don't, oh. they don't run away from me. They just lay flat, flat and quiet and just gazing at me and listening while I'm talking oh, to them. I was also surprised, yeah? I have never seen this before. Normally, wild squirrels, when you go near, they run away, no? Yes. But they just lie flat on the stomach, flat on the tree trunk, flat, really flat, as flat as possible, as if prostrating. Wow. And gazing at me and keep listening until I finished. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what I told them. <laughs> I just. You know, go chat, I guess. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming. Or are you hungry or something like that? Did you eat well there? Are uh, you come here to stay or not? And then, and then they just disappear just as fast as they came after that. I don't see none of them anymore. Uh-huh. I thought they came to stay. No, they just come to, to tell me things and then they left. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I say here, so when talked, uh, squirrels lie flat on his stomach, one of them, yeah, and the other one I did not have 
attention to see all of them. Understand me? Yes. Right, right in front of me, about twenty inches. Yeah. Oh, wow. On the tree trunk. Yeah, in front of my balcony. So um, when I talk, he just lies flat on his stomach. When I look at other, the same. And they're all gazing at me. When I talk to them, they all turn toward me and listen, listen. You know, they don't, uh, they don't chip around anymore. They don't talk. They don't move. Uh, and then uh, I say, "Why are you laying so flat on your stomach? <laughs> Look very uh, strange." He say, "Pay respect for master." That's what he said. Oh, okay. So nice. now and then he. Uh, uh, who say this? Just one moment. Uh, oh, they also say, "Be, be you forgiving to unloyal disciple." They mention the name of uh, that uh, person. You know. Yeah, I know that. She she revealed something shocking to me also. Uh, you never know what people inside are like. Yes. You know, only looking outside, you never know. And on the eleven, I said, "Dear God, can't believe some humans are so bad, or badly influenced, and my life always has to be in trouble like this." You know I don't deserve it, do you? Well, you told me that also. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Done. I mean, there's some more, but that's enough for now. These are the things that you're curious to hear, and the rest you can ask me, and i be happy to answer, because because you have a collect uh, uh, questions, right? Yes, Master. And that's how this conference took place. Yeah. Mm. Yes, thank you, Master. I'm glad. I'm glad you asked something because it's always good for the world. Because whatever you ask is it's a human's kind of question, and many other human, you know, your brother and sister would love to hear and your question to hear answer because they have no chance to ask me. Yeah. Yes. And could be good for the world people as as well if they listen. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I do not hope, but I, I pray that they might listen and it will help them. Recently, we are bolder now. I, I say we don't mince our actions anymore and we don't mince our words anymore. And so we uh, put a lot of this uh, animal cruelty on our TV, yeah? Yes. yes, Master. And it does change. At least one million people became vegan. Wow, that's good news. Because of that, even though it's very, very crude, Every time I see any of this cruelty picture, I scream and I, I cry. Oh, uh, it upset me for many days. Okay, and I scream at all heaven. I tell them I have to do something. Yeah. I wish I have more time to. Okay, never mind. It's your time now, please. Okay, yeah. Master. Yeah. Master, um, due to COVID-19, 265 million are at risk of a hunger pandemic, mm. according to experts. Mm. World Food Program Executive Director David Beasley told the UN Security Council that we mm. could be facing multiple famines of biblical proportions within a short few months. Mm. Is there something people or disciples can or should do to prepare themselves in case this would happen? Oh, yeah. Remember, I read you my message before you asked question. The first yes. first message ever I wrote in my diary on the twenty fourth of July. Yes, Master. I just read to you. Yes. yes. I say self sustain as much as possible. Yes. Yeah. Even if you have balcony, you can plan things to eat. Okay. If you yes. have land, you plan crops. You plan vegetable. You plan fruit trees. Be self sustain as much as possible. Anyone, okay? Actually, I wanted to say this a while back then, in the first urgent call to the leaders, but I forgot. It stays in the back of my mind till it resurfaced again, days before 24th of July even, till I had time to write it down in my diary and told you guys before I forget again. There are many things I forget to, to write or had no time to write, even spiritual uh, vision or, or spiritual messages. Yeah, you have no idea how busy I am. Yes, Master. Anyone who listens, and disciple, of course, you know, plant organic uh, food, okay, as much as you can, self-sustain as much as you can. 
Yes, thank you, Master. Yes, uh, th that's why there was an urge for me to want to tell this message, but then I delay until today. Uh, at least we have it now. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Um, and another question is, the factory farmed animals are being killed because the processing plants were shut down and there is an oversupply of the animals. Mm -hmm. Will this cause the COVID-19 pandemic to get worse due to the increased karma created? Yeah, the same. Whether or not they kill animals for consumption or they kill them because of, uh, of, of a surplus, it's the same. Yes, Master. Whatever you do to animals, you get it, yes. you know? It's the same. We should have never, you know, create so many animals by inseminating or by some artificial mean or by whatever natural mean and then to kill them. Yes, nice. Or take away their babies, uh, take away the milk for the baby and uh, quarantine the little poor calf in, in a cage so that their, their meat become tender and kill them, kill mother, kill kids, you know. Oh, this is terrible, horrible. You know, we make ourselves, the human race, into such a murderous race. It's so horrible. You know, you remember when we were kids, we read many stories about witches, you know, yes. that, uh, you know, waiting somewhere in the forest or somewhere so to lure people or, or children to eat. Yes? Yeah. Hey, we are doing the same to animals. Uh, yes. Yeah, the story is the same. Yeah. Yeah. For some patients, some symptoms from the COVID-19 still linger even months after their official recovery. For instance, shortness of breath, and mm. some even develop new symptoms, brain fog or fatigue. Mm. Is there a way to fully recover? No. Oh. No. Oh, if they are less uh, affected, then they're not, but if they're already affected, then it just continue or lay dormant there. Yeah, and people think it's, a, it's, it's a just a common flu, it's not like that, okay? I read in the news before many people, including, uh, you know, priests and all that, they they make light of, of the COVID-19, and then lay, they themselves also caught the disease and die. Yeah. 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 Yes. So. That's why I keep telling you guys, even though I'm in retreat, I should not show up like this, but I worry, okay? Yes, thank you, Master. I have to tell, and whoever listens, they might save their lives, okay? Thank yes, you, Master. And also because of the merit to less. If, if you have more merit, then possibly that you can recover, yeah? Yes. But if it's already grave, uh, gravely infected and, and deteriorated, then then it's not. You might have some medicine or something kind of to to halt it somehow, but not recover completely. Yeah. I yeah. Okay. There is a discovery of a new swine flu virus called G4EAH1N1 or G4 for short. Oh yeah. Will this develop into a pandemic? No, oh, you can wait and see, huh? I have told before that there are many ticking bombs, yeah? By a few, not just one, eh? Yes, yes. Master. yes master. And now, because of COVID-19, it bred other kind of, of, of pandemic, uh, other kind of disease, yeah? Yes, Master. It might not be a pandemic yet, but it's all over us. Look at how many, look at billions of people plus already, you know, infected like that. So we are kind of swimming in diseases and in bacteria and in viruses and in danger. Yes. Yes. Everywhere, you never know whom you encounter that carry that disease and pass it on to you, even though he doesn't look sick, yeah? Even though that person might not look sick, but he, he carry it and he might pass it on to you anytime, anywhere, you never know, okay? Yes. yes uh, one of your brother just had to go out for a dentist or something, and I have to quarantine him for three weeks. Yeah, I have written it. Uh, some of you must have read it, yeah? Yes, the, yes. the one who helped me. And I say the same for everybody. If you go out of our group, your group, yes. because you are uh, inside the bubble right now, yes. tell the kitchen members, you know, also if they go out, they cannot come back, huh? 
Yes, Master. Okay? We will tell them. Mm. Oh, if they come back, they have to quarantine themselves for at least three weeks. Okay? Yes. yes. Yeah, so nobody should go out unless absolutely necessary, okay? Yes, yes Master. The kitchen people and you should not go out. You, you are protected within your own area. Yes. But if you have to go, of course you have to. And come back, take a shower immediately from head to toe, uh, clinic, uh, clinically wash your clothes, yeah, etc. Mm. Yes, Master. Uh, did I say goggle when you go out? I did, huh? Yes, Master. All right. Yeah, there are many other diseases also showing up right now, yeah? Yes, Master. Uh, I saw it on our TV, something in Yemen, cholera and, and what, what else? Uh, 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 Ebola? Yes. It's even showing up again. Yes. yes and measles somewhere, etc. Yeah. You see, because of the COVID-19 energy, uh, the air will be somehow polluted when people carry the disease and running around, yeah? Yes. yes. So, uh, people, immune system also being affected, even though they are not uh, with uh, uh, infected by COVID-19. Yes, Master. First, if they have catch other disease, normally treatable, it could be untreatable, oh, because wow. their immune system is already somehow, uh, uh, how you say, mm, compromised. So that's why I keep telling you and disciples all this conference, just to let them be more vigilant and careful and more protecting themselves with spiritual merit, okay? Yes, with Master. prayers, with meditation, with purity of conduct and thought and action and speech, okay? That is a real protection. Otherwise, the humans, including my own so-called disciples, don't have enough love, don't have enough merit to cover themselves. Understand? Yeah. Oh, I see. So, must borrow um, from Master Power, from Higher Power, and thus must pray every day a lot, must meditate a lot, as much as can. Yeah. Yes, Master. That is to connect yourself always with the Divine so that we don't have uh, more problem. Yes, yes Master. Any more questions, love? Um, How many more questions? I, I heard you have a list. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me. Master, the gods has said that this is the final judgment time. Mm -hmm. What is the grace period of this time? Does that mean that everyone must be vegan within this grace period? And if some people do not become vegan, will they die of some pandemic or disaster and go to hell unless they repent? Grace, grace period has already been a kind of... Uh, terminated long ago. Just I plead with heaven, you know, be more lenient, because humans, they have been poisoned, they have been misled, they have been brainwashed, all kind of bad influence from Maya and from zealous demons. And any time they can turn now, any time they can, you turn now, and I will be standing by. If they can U-turn, of course, they will have somehow more protection. But it also depends on how much merit they have as well, okay? Yes, yes Master. Uh, so, uh, combine that with their pu uh, previous life, merit, and their sincerity, and their humble uh, prayers and repentance. That would help somehow. Yes, yes Master. At least, if they caught the pandemic, it would be modern, it will be lessened, yeah? And if they die, I could find an excuse to help their soul to, to go up to heaven. Yes, Master. Master, so the prophecies, like from Olak Vietnam and others, say that during the final judgment time, there will be disasters and new diseases, and only one out of ten, or two out of ten virtuous people will survive. Will this be true, Master? Um, because we have faith that with Master's blessings, it won't be as bad. 
I can only bless the people who listen, who cooperate. If a doctor gives a prescription to a patient and the patient do not take the medicine, what will be the consequence? Hmm? Will you blame the doctor not trying his best already? No, Master. Yeah. You cannot just expect everything but not give in anything. Yeah? Yes, Master. Yeah, and you don't even have to give anything. You just don't take it from others. Don't take life from animals. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Very simple solution. If you kill life, you cannot expect life in return. Hmm? As you sow, so shall you reap. The law of karma is not to be uh, messed up with. Okay? Yes, yes Master. Master. If they keep taking poison and the doctor tell them, don't take it anymore, okay, at least stop the poison, then I can cure you. But they continue taking poison, then the patient will die or agonizing. Just don't expect me to do everything and nobody does anything. There's no such thing like that, okay? Yes, Master. Even then, we have to be fair to the animals. They do nothing wrong. They've been tortured. They've been, oh my God, like hell before they die. Yes, yes. yes. You saw it all on our TV and on Netflix. Yes. yes. Right? Yeah, and uh, all the film that we advertise. How can we, as a human, strong, intelligent, have choices? Torture somebody who is weak and, 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 and helpless like that and expect mercy, huh? I told them they have to repent and you turn, okay? Yes, Master. That's all they have to do. I don't ask for a lot, okay? Yes, yes Master. So that I can help them. Of course, I can bless the people who are repenting and turn to benevolent way of life. I can bless by the grace and mercy of God Almighty. I have told you already that I helped the souls who are repentant, even though they have to die to redeem their sin. I help them if they are repentant in their heart, if they have ever seen my photo or my video or my talk and have some reverence or some belief in me. These I can help. But if they don't listen, they continue that way, then don't ask me anymore to help them, master blessing, a lot of blessing for nothing. For these people, nothing will work if they don't change. Do you understand? Yes, Master. Everybody keep asking me, you and your brother always ask me, Master, should have blessing and everything be all right? How can it be all right? How about the animals? They are not all right, are they? No. Then don't expect anything from me or anyone or heaven anymore. Hell is the only place for these kind of people because they turn blind eyes on other suffering and enjoy their, their pain and language. Yes, Master. Always sit there eating meat, drinking wine, and, you know, torturing animals and others, and then expect me to give them blessing? Huh? You keep asking this kind of question again and again. I don't want to ever hear it again, okay? Yes, Master. Because it's not, it's not intelligent question. It's abusive of heaven's power and God's love. If you want to learn English with a professor, you have to do your homework, right? Yes, yes Master. You cannot just expect the, the professor, because of his vast knowledge, make you uh, speak English and understand English. When you don't learn, you don't try to practice, you don't speak, you don't do your homework. You got that? Yes, Master. It makes me angry, this kind of question. It feels like everybody just sit there, and waiting for one person to do everything. This question is just like a similar situation, like a president. He was elected and he's well known for being forgiving and benevolent. And then expect him 
just to write off the law and everybody does what he wants. This one kills that person, no problem. The other one abuses the other little girl, no problem. Each one does what he wants. The strong will uh, oppress the weak and ask the president just to write off all their criminal record, forgive everybody. And that is not fair for the victims. That's why I don't want to answer that question anymore because it's truly ridiculous. It is too abusive. People, they think like that. They just do anything and then expect like a president to make miracle for them or a master who hula hula hop and everything going all right. So what do you want me to do? You want more sacrifice? like Jesus and many other masters, huh? like I drop dead or something, and then that miracle might happen because my, my death may be clean in their sins. That is a dream. Look at all the masters. They die agonizingly. And the Buddha has been attempted many times with his life. And Jesus, he dies such an agonizing death on the cross. Or even if he was healed and, and went back to normal life after, that is not a correct way that humans should treat an innocent being like Jesus. And for example, he died there, and he tried hard to cleanse people's sin, but that's only temporarily, maybe only his disciple and some of, the, of their relatives and friends of five, six generations. But people still continue to eat meat, drink wine, and so his sacrifice was not permanent. And what good come out of it? Nothing much. They make an empire out of it, build big temple and all that, and worshiping his status while he was alive, they crucify him. And look at humans. What did they do? Continue eat meat, drink wine, make merry. Yes, that's true. So what good out of that? If a master die or sacrifice in some way, physically, I'm sacrificing every day. Yes, yes, master. Not just my physical unwellness, and I have to do so many things that I cannot tell you, but also my spiritual wellness, and you all know that. Yes, mm -hmm. master. So, what's the use anyway? My dogs are right. They are right to tell me that why do I do all this for humans? They are not worthy. And just free myself. Even heaven told me free my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They told me free your life because they say be free, be safe, be peace, be uh, noble. Sometimes they say be happy or not. Yeah. That means just get out. Yes, it's all games. It's, it's all illusion anyway. It's all like a, a theater, like a dream. I know all that. But tell the ordinary people suffer outside. Is it a dream to them? No. No. Right? Right. They sweat day and night, suffer all kinds of things, endure in all kinds of circumstances, just to make end meet, just yes. to take care of themselves. Oh, and family, and enduring all kind of harassments or all kind of hardship, and ask the animals who suffer so inhumanely, so wickedly, so cruelly in the factory farming there. Ask them whether or not it's a dream. Hmm? Yeah, yes. It hurts. You pinch yourself, and you know it's not a dream. It hurts, right? Yes, right. yes, Even just a pinching, you feel hurt. Even you cut a little of your finger, you feel hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how can I just walk away and say it's just a dream? For me, it is. Even if I hurt or I work hard or I'm exhausted and everything like that, but on one hand, I know it all will end. It's all a dream. Yes. But yes. for most people, they suffer deeply. I may suffer so that I can understand that in this dream of all dreams they suffer, mm. the real suffering. So that's why I cannot just walk away. Yes, Master, thank that, you. That's why many, many of the enlightened master or spiritual practitioners, they don't stay in the world even. 
they just walk away. They went somewhere, you know, in the Himalaya or in some mountain or next to the river, something. They live their own life. Yeah. Yes. Not like an ordinary or mundane life, but they just live their life with the divine, with the newfound freedom inside. They don't care much about taking disciple. Whatever happened, it just by the way. But they never care to go out. This kind of practitioner, they know it's all, it's all dream. Yes. One of the Chinese uh, master, I don't remember which one, I uh, forgot the name. Somebody asked him, why wouldn't he like to help the world? He said, even if to lose one of my hair to rescue the world, I wouldn't do it. No. Yeah, even to lose one of his hair to help the world, he wouldn't do it. Wow. Not because he doesn't concern, but he knew too well that this is an illusionary dream, and people are just so hard head, so difficult to teach anything. It's very difficult. So Bodhidharma has only five disciples, and only one of them are truly enlightened and became his successor. You remember the story, right, about Bodhidharma? No, you don't know? No. <laughs> Sorry. no okay, we don't. never mind, never mind. You are not uh, Chinese, so maybe you're not familiar with it. Many Chinese don't know it anyway, okay? He came all the way from India as a prince, wow. forsake everything to go to China just to try to saw a seat of enlightenment there. Wow. And the whole vast China, you know how big China is, yeah? yes, yes? And how big the population. Only one person worthy of his mantle of successorship. Imagine the whole world, huh? Wow. How many people would listen to him? They ridicule him even. And uh, he attempted on his life also several times. If you watch the film, you would see, okay? But yes. lucky he has protection and he has power. They saw uh, him with uh, like a kung fu and all that martial art, but actually people don't understand it. He didn't have to use all that. He has inner power, and that's what they meant. But outside, he has to translate it into <laughs> kung fu, you know? Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, yes. that's what it is. Many films are like that. Like they make a film of a master, and then they make him into like a kung fu master, and then mm-hmm. <laughs> people attack him from all sides, and he alone can, can like uh, you know, hit in the west, kick in the east, and you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, master. Uh, yeah, lurch into the front, and you know, how you say, uh, punching on the back, something like that. Yeah. Yes. They like all side, and he can win them all, and not always. Sometimes he get hurt, of course. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that uh, no matter how much a master sacrifice, it's not useful to humans so much. At least in this stage of their development, yes. they might uplift the whole energy of the atmosphere of the planet. But unless they themselves change, don't ask the master to sacrifice for them because it's useless. Yeah, it's better the master stay alive, keep safe and helping them with his or her energy to yes, uplift yeah, yes. Yeah, the whole humankind, and the whole planet. Our planet would have been destroyed long ago. Our world would have ceased to exist if we have not had many benevolent, compassionate masters who came and went during all our history of humankind. Yes, yes, yes Master. Yeah, and even now, even if there is no practitioner, no masters for our to uphold this planet, it would be gone, okay? Because the sin of seven billion people are too great, too heavy. It's shaken heaven and earth. It pierced all hearts of divas and, and deities everywhere in the whole universe. So it's, it's not like you can do anything about it and let them just continue with their wicked way. Yes, yes, Master. If they don't change, they will continue like this and get worse and worse. As you can see, okay? You yes, can see yes, it now that day. It's kind of a rush 
you know, enormous fires everywhere. If you see on the map, it dot, 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 everywhere, okay? Yes. And then tsunami to boots. And then, uh, and then what? Flood. And then locusts. And then uh, pandemic. And then the, another new virus. And the old virus searching up, etc. And then economy collapsing. And uh, protesting everywhere. For example, like that. Protesting for going out to work, protesting for freedom not to be in lockdown, protesting color racism, yeah? Yes, that's yes. right. Yes, and many other racism also, like uh, how you say, uh, between the genders, yeah? Between yes. the male and female in the offices everywhere. Yes. Yeah, like that. Even with all this equality fight, all these uh, decades, you know, women are still not equal to men in the working field. Yeah especially in the intellectual field, in the business. Right, right. Yeah, there's so many, so, so many pandemics everywhere, okay? Not just this uh, COVID-19, no? Uh, yes. The color racism, gender racism, these are also pandemic, and they are chronic pandemic. Yes. It's starting since forever, and then it continues forever, perhaps. So I don't know what we are doing. We are swimming in problem. You know, this world is really in trouble water, deep, 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 deep in trouble water. And I, I fear for humankind what happening next. But when I was a young kid, no? yes. I saw a film about Tarzan. No? Yes. <laughs> yeah. At the end, there were the two mountains. Uh, uh, coming together, at least uh, two big stones, yeah, big stone, and he had to spread both of his hands out to stop the stone from closing in. Yes, yes, Master, your voice is muffled. My oh, yeah. okay, yes. it's better. Can you hear now? Yes. Oh, I, I guess the telephone was stressed beyond limits, <laughs> like <laughs> like the owner, <laughs> like me. <sighs> You see, even machine has its limit, not to talk about us human with flesh and bone, yes. and a 70 plus years old woman like me, yeah. okay? And multitask every day, yeah. And not just physical tasks, they are, they are invisible tasks, okay? Yes. That you cannot tell, you cannot know. Even if I describe it, you wouldn't understand nothing. <laughs> so I'm lazy to talk about it. Now, um, so Tarzan was using his hand to stop the two mountains collapsing into each other while he's in the middle of it, yeah? Yeah. And to protect his, uh, I think, his beloved girl also. Yes. But imagine how long is he going to do that? Mm, yes. How long can he? How strong can he be with the two mountains collapsing toward each other? Yes. Master. And they already as close as... His two spreading arms. He spread the two arms to to stop them. Okay. Mm -hmm. The film wants to show that how strong he is. Yes, yes. But even then, how long can he hold that strength? Yeah, not not long. <laughs> yeah, if he's so urgent like that. Yeah, okay. Either the mountain has to stop collapsing onto each other, or he just have to give in one day. So the situation of the world is like that we can keep it afloat, but the humans have to change, okay? Yes, yes, Master. I cannot stop them dying or getting infected, because I have told you already once, the great karmic wheel is turning, and it's impossible to reverse, okay? Yes, or to Master. stop it on track. Mm. Justice has to be done, huh? okay? Yes, yes. Master. Even in this, well, if somebody kills somebody, then you have to do prison time, yeah? Yes. Or even be executed. Yes. Depends on the country. So how would we going on killing all these innocent and mass like this? And then get away with murder? No, not possible, okay? Yes, yes. It would have been possible if they stopped it long ago, some years ago. Then it's easier for me to help. Right now, I can only help their souls. It's easier to talk to their souls 
than when they are alive with the soul in their body. Yes, yes, Master. But even then, they need to have some excuse, some merit for me to do it because I didn't do it mm. early enough. I just can help those who are like having some little excuse somewhere, okay? Yes. Or believing in me somehow, or have some respect for me somehow. And even if I can have my blessing for the whole world and the uh, pandemic get better, tsunami don't come and all that, all that stuff, even if I can do all that, I won't tell you. If I tell you and guarantee like that, then everybody continue to kill each other and to torture the animals just for their taste when they have plenty other things to eat. So now I hope once and for all I have answered this very uncomfortable bad question. Next question, please. Master, last month in June, the Canadian Prime Minister announced his government will invest 74 million U.S. dollars in producing plant-based protein mm. following the growing demand for plant-based foods. Mm. The move will also create new jobs. Um, mm. What more can leaders do be doing at this time to usher in a vegan world? Yeah, that's what they should do. Bravo for the Prime Minister. Yes. But what more? Can they do? They have to tell everybody from now on no more meat, that's it? Yes. Shut down all the slaughterhouse, all the animal factory, okay? Let the animals free, not kill them, but let them free, let them run. Let them do what they do, you know, the way they do, naturally. Or help, help them to feed them until they die naturally. And then produce vegan products, enough for everyone to feed upon. Healthy, tasty, and benevolent. That's what they have to do. Make the law, just like they can forbid people smoke indoor and all that. Yes. Yeah, everything else can be done the same. Yes. Even if they don't forbid eating meat, soon they will have nothing to eat if the world go under, yeah? Yes, Master. If nobody there to 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 do the the how you say the planting, yeah, and nobody there to harvest the food because everybody's sick. Yes, master. They're not talk about meat, not even fruit. They will not have to. They will not have anything to eat. This year, uh, you know, recent few months, many uh, farmer cannot harvest their fruit. You know that, okay? Yes. Many of them are gone to waste also. Now, even flour, like in Holland, they bundle them together just to, to, to put it there to rot because they cannot sell. Nobody come out to buy, yeah? Yes. And uh, delivery can do, but how can they even find uh, enough people to deliver, yeah? Yes, Master. Because we are short of personnel. Everybody's sick, everybody lay off, yeah? Oh, everybody is everybody is afraid to go out to work. Yes, master. So they are waiting for doom day, if they don't start vegan business already, and uh, if they don't shut down all the animal factory, then continue pandemic, okay, and maybe more even, more pandemic, more other disaster, even within. Pandemic already. People go out and have many more other kind of protests going on everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Many things happening all the time, and many of the company go bankrupt, and people are out of work, and hunger everywhere. Even how long can the government keep giving money or aid to the desperate people when there is no income for yes, the government right. to to cash on tax and stuff like that when nobody work. Keep sitting there and eating, then it won't do, okay? Yes, Master. So this system has to end sooner, like yesterday. I don't know why nobody see that. huh? Giving money and aid is, is not the long-term solution. Oh, sorry, I'm kind of emotional. I'm angry with everybody because why they are killing themselves by eating animals' products when they know it's not good. 
not good for them, not good for the, you know, health, not good for the environment, not good for the planet. It's all official already from the UN, even from all the scientists. I don't know why people still want to kill themselves. If they want to kill themselves, why you expect me to do anything, huh? Who am I to tell them not to kill themselves, huh? Who am I to tell them to do this, do that? I don't have any power in my hand, okay? I mean, this is physical things, need physical uh, regulation to to handle. Yes, the sense. government has to forbid meat eating, meat egg, anything, animals, if they want to really save their citizens and save their country and save their economy. They have to stop all the animals industry right now and maybe still can can rescue their own people themselves and the world. That's all I can say. I've been saying all this all these years already, yeah? Yes, Master. Master, this is about vaccines. Yes. Um, if the COVID-19 vaccine is not vegan, should we still take it? Some vaccines are reported to include animal and even human cells, as, sure. well, as well as toxic heavy metals. Is, oh. it, is it possible for healthy vegans to have a strong enough immune system to overcome viruses without a vaccine? Your choice, okay? Yes, Master. I don't want to say anything. You know very well what to do, okay? Yes, Master. But to have animals and human cells and all that, oh my God, and heavy metal and all that, I'm not sure how all that will affect your body even, and your natural immune system. Even if you don't have vaccine, but you're vegan, at least you save lives, yeah? You save other people's lives, you save animals' lives, and that merit earn you a place in heaven. That should be worth living for already, okay? Yes and not uh, worry too much about eating this, eating that, or not worry too much about living uh, longer with the, I would say, this kind of vaccine who even uh, include the suffering of animals and humans. Okay? Yes, thank you, Master. Welcome. Even though there are currently about 140 vaccines in early development and around two dozen that are now being tested on people in clinical trials, mm -hmm. the media is saying that no one knows how effective any of these vaccines will be and there might be side effects. Mm -hmm. Also, some countries are facing a second wave of the coronavirus right now mm -hmm. and experts are warning that a third wave might come after this summer. Mm -hmm. Master already said that total vegan is the simplest solution. Mm -hmm. Why are governments not implementing it? Why do they prefer the most expensive way, i.e. research for a vaccine? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Because they continue to eat meat, that's why. The lobby or something is too strong or, or they're so addicted to meat that they cannot even uh, try to stop it themselves. Therefore, they don't do any law to, to ask the citizen to stop eating meat. They they know everything, they just don't do it. Number one, maybe they are too weak to stand up for what is right. Number two, maybe they worry they lost their job in the government or not be voted for. <coughs> I don't know, okay? Anyway, it's not right to 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 spend so much money to search for vaccine when you know the cost. And okay, maybe you can have a vaccine for COVID-19, but there will be more coming. How about the, the new swine flu, for example, yeah? Thanks, Master. The uh, new swine strain, yeah? Okay? Yeah. Hmm. And then maybe more and more. You can, you can just keep looking forever for the cure and for the vaccine. Yes, Master. Like, remember AIDS, yeah, and HIV, mm -hmm. yeah. it, it wasn't curable, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then it takes, I don't know, decades, right, to, yes, to search for something in order to cure it. Yes. Or um, malaria, for example. And then, and then it comes another thing, like uh, bird flus, and then swine flus, and then MERS, and SARS, and then Ebola, and, and what else, yeah? And now COVID-19, we cannot forever water the plant from the leaves. We have to water at the root yes, master. to keep the plants alive and thriving. Yes. 
to live a life based on violence, then we will only reap violence, you know, suffering, one way or another. There's no getting away from it, because it will be not fair to other creatures, yeah? We all creation. We should treat one another gently and, and, and nicely, protecting, not, not eating, not killing, not so massacring like that, just to eat when we have many choices to to sustain our body and even better choice. You understand? Yes, huh? Okay? I know you understand. I'm just sorry to say <laughs> just a habit. Yeah. Because I, I think I'm talking to deaf ears in the world, so I keep asking if you understand. <laughs> even yeah. though you do already. They they could make the law like that because they already f- forbid cigarette and people really listen to it and many young people don't don't smoke. Uh, that much anymore, it's less. So they can also forbid meat. It's not that difficult. Mm. Because they also forbid like illegal drugs. And then some countries also even forbid alcohol. So even in uh, many countries, just to smoke marijuana or plant marijuana, you can go to jail for that. Or a heavy fine. Yes. Yeah? So how can murdering a living, breathing, emotional lawyer, sweet, gentle, helpless being like ox, cows, pigs, chicken, turkeys, fishes, you know, etc., etc., being free of punishment. Marijuana is just a grass, something like that. Yeah. Yes. They even call it wheat, I think. Yeah. Yes. I saw it on TV, yeah. So how come murdering a living, breathing, walking, you know, intelligent, gentle being is going scot-free and even condoned, even encouraged? Like, for example, you know, in many countries during COVID-19 pandemic, they closed many shops, many businesses, but they allow meat factory to continue to open until, of course, they got the infection and then they closed. Yes. Yeah, right. and then they say, because it's essential. Hmm? Yeah. And all this time, they should know already. Nowadays we have television, we have internet. So they should know this is poisonous. It's bad for people's health. Yes, Smoking ma'am. marijuana, they forbid, or whatever, cocaine you call it, or maybe some, some drugs, yeah? They say it's bad for health. Whatever reason, well, the meat is, is also very, very bad for health, medically proven already, and they still encourage that kind of business to continue. So I don't see any excuses at all. Yes, master. So whoever really allow meat to open, they're really killing people themselves also. Yes, master. Yeah, whoever condone meat business. They are all together in that in that murderous business. I don't see any way out. <sighs> it's not logical to me. Master, some 200 plus French journalists recently opened up about how the meat lobby is pressuring them not to talk about the devastating effects of livestock farming. Those journalists in Britannia decided to unite and sent a letter to some politicians about it. But chances are that politicians also face that pressure from the lobbies. How can we solve that issue, Master? Uh This is called bribery. That's because politicians should be more clean, okay? Like old-time gentlemen. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I cannot solve this problem. I cannot go one by one to any politician and tell them, hey, don't take bribes. Now they say lobby, but it's kind of bribery. Yes. Maybe they take money from them directly, indirectly, maybe a promise of voting for them again, mm-hmm. of supporting with all their clans and all that, and helping them to spread uh, the supportive kind of um, trend, yeah? Yes. Yeah. So they promise each other. It's like doing business, a black market business. Yes. yes. But a cancer in a great person body is still a cancer. Yes. 
And even the cancer in your father's body is still a cancer, even though you love your father. The cancer you cannot love, okay? Yes. I'm not trying to criticize or anything. I'm just telling you that this world is like that. The lobbying things, I call it bribery. Now you understand why, right? Yes, Yes, Master. Yeah, either they take money, take something under the table and promise to, you know, help each other to prosper or to hold on to power or fame or whatever that in their personal interest. In China, it's more strict in this aspect. But there are some cases, one case is one of the very high profile party member has been jailed. Wow. Bribery is also a pandemic in the society. In every country they have this. And it's chronic disease. And it's infectious also. One of the my disciples asked me because he worked in a government company and everybody else in his group take bribe, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, he doesn't want to because of uh, my teaching. But he has very hard time with them. Yes. Because they worry he might leak information and harm them, the rest of the group. So he asked me whether or not he should change job. I say, do change. Yes, yes, Master. Yeah, for your safety. Mm. For example, like that. You see, it's infectious, yeah? Yes. yes. If, for example, the boss in that office take bribe, other smaller subordinate have to support it as well. Otherwise... Yes. Or else, yeah, okay, yeah. Or they gang together, one one group, and everybody has to take bribe together. Or else, yes. yeah, all right. So this world, up to now, in many ways, are still helpless, and we have many pandemics, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Not just the virus. The virus in the society, in the governmental system, in the social system, is even harder to cure than... COVID-19. But what to do, huh? The humans have to learn. If, for example, the boss in that office take bribe, other smaller subordinates have to support it as well, otherwise, or else, or they gang together, one group, and everybody has to take bribe together, or else. Yes. Yeah? So this world is up to now. <laughs> in many ways are still helpless and we have many pandemic okay yes yes Master. not just the virus the virus in the society in the governmental system in the social system is even harder to cure than covid-19 but what to do huh the yes. humans have to learn yes, yes master and whatever we have to be patient and whatever they did, they have to take the consequences. If they did not, you turn and uh, repent and change, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. I ask people, just repent and you turn. I did not even ask them to be my disciples. I did not even ask to know their address, their names. I didn't ask for their money or their influence or their position or their power to help me, nothing. I just asked them to repent and change to the opposite direction of what they have been going, because they go in in the wrong direction, that's all. I'm just like a guy, tell them that way is wrong, go this way. But if they continue to go that way, then they will meet with their doom. There's nothing I can do. Yes, Master. So don't ask me anymore about <laughs> Master Blessing will make everything good. Make something good, but not everything good, okay? Yes, yes Master. It's and clear. even if I make this generation good, it doesn't mean next generation or the next, next, next will be good. Like yeah. Jesus sacrificed maybe for his group of disciples and some of their related people, but not the whole world, you see? Yes, yes. And then not for everybody after his generation. Yes, yes Master. Of course, his teaching keeps some people in line, but still the main point is that benevolence, compassion. Yes. Most of them didn't get it, and the blind lead the blind and both fall into the pit. And that is the result, okay? Nobody can change that. Yes, 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 sir. If the blind lead the blind, then someday they will fall together, no? 
Right. And if somebody nearby happened to feel sorry for them and say, no, 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 don't go there, don't go straight ahead, turn left, or return and find another way. And if they don't do it, then what can we do? Right. It's okay to feed people, but it's better to teach them how to feed themselves. Yes, Master. It's long-lasting, and it's more beneficial for everyone. They cannot just sit there, do everything all wicked to everyone else, including the animals, and then expect any master to come and hula hop, and then everything okay. It's not okay for the victims. It's not fair for the animals or for the victims right. of all these wrongdoing. So now you know, okay? Yes. So the reporter, I praise them for doing the noble thing. But I don't know if that can make much difference. It may make difference, but long longer later. It could make a difference quicker. I hope so. Okay? Yes. And I hope all the reporters in the whole world follow this courageous, righteous example of the reporters in Britannia in front. Okay. Oh, I'm so low that I speak with my tongue. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's just my soul is not in complete control of my body sometimes. Okay? Yes, Master. You can see I say many words wrong, eh? and I cannot pronounce it sometimes. Yes, yes. Not just this word, but many I know it in my head. I just It doesn't come out right. <laughs> just like often I grab things and it drops down, drop from my hand, even though I know I grab it in my hand. Yes, yes. Sometimes it just fell out from my hand. I already had it in my hand, it still fell out because maybe I didn't have the energy to hold it. Sometimes I'm so low in battery, like that. Or sometimes it depends. Also, I'm not back in the body. The contact is not uh, yet well established between the body and the higher command of the soul. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you can go ahead and laugh at my illiteracy, but... <laughs> no, I was... <laughs> I'm everything. I'm all humiliated and humble in any time, anywhere, anyway. I have many other things to, to take care of, even though <laughs> unexpected. Always some extra work for me, not just SMTV work, yeah? Yes, Master. Yes. And not just uh, your conference with you. I'm glad we had it, because yes. without all your questions, maybe I would delay my message until I don't know when. Yes. The message that I'm supposed to, to talk uh, on the 24th, of July already, because I'm also very lazy to put uh, <laughs> anti-shine powder on my face mm-hmm. and all that stuff, okay? Yes, I And uh, fix it a little bit for the camera and all that, and also to gather you up. And I was thinking uh, what to do about it, because it's a short message. It's not like a, a long conference, so I thought uh, I don't want to gather you guys to talk about it. Yes, and then I was thinking, oh, maybe I should talk on the phone without video. And I was thinking, thinking, and then four or five days passed already. Yeah. <laughs> time, time passed so quick. Yes. I only realized it yesterday that it's five days passed already since the day I wanted to give the message to our people, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. At least to our people, not to outside uh, non-initiate people, because I don't know how much they even believe what I said, and how much they even listen, or how much they even do anything that I say. So at least just for our people everywhere in the world to take care of themselves. That's all I, I hope for, okay? Yes, Master. Of course, it would be better if the world listened also, but I don't hold very high hope the way it is going. Death is already at the world's door, and there is still going on business as usual, eating meat and drinking alcohol and talking nonsense and doing whatever not, yeah? Yes, Mister. Mm. People are dying in countless number. You know, you can see on the news that so many holes are digging everywhere mm. yes. and never enough even yes. for the coffin, yes, the grave, just like that. Just simply dig graves everywhere that they have space and just lower them down, that's it, yeah. unceremoniously. You see that? Mm. Yes, and dignifiedly, the message, I want to get it out as soon as we can, okay? Yes, yes Master. For people to take care, huh? for people's safety and health, okay, and life. Yes, Master. It could save 
many lives. Yes, Master. Because if you keep repeating, repeating, then maybe some words will go into some people's ears. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Yes, yeah. I hope so. Yeah, just like the joke that uh, we read it somewhere, you know. Uh, you know, at a sales company, the boss said to the employee, you know, if people don't buy you, just keep repeating, repeating, repeating. <laughs> and then more possibility that they will buy. And then uh, the employee yeah, say yes, sir. And then the boss said, okay, what did you come mm-hmm. into my office for in the first place? He said, a raise, a raise, a raise, a raise. Ah, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. A quick, quick, quick learner, eh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, any more questions? Um, why is it that if the people who bring Master's dogs come near Master, Master will lose 14% of spiritual power and saving power for her mission? Because their level is too low. Their energy is coarse, even if they already uh, went to the fourth level. It is uh, much better, but uh, uh, some are not uh, at that level, okay? Some are not higher level, just a three or four, that is not very good, okay? Huh? Yes, Master. Uh, the energy is not uh, not refined enough for my wellness, especially when I am in retreat, okay? Uh, yes, Master. Retreat, you should be shut shut down from, from the world. You should not see anyone, any dogs, any being, nothing, okay? Yes, Master. In Tibet, the old time, like Milaruba time, uh, they will make you a little, like a cave, and then completely shut. You just stay inside there forever, yeah. Just a little uh, opening so that people can bring food to you. And even the person who bring the food cover their hands so that you don't even recognize who that is. That's what I did. Wow. Yeah, the hands don't even show. When I first did retreat in Sihu, I really put out everything. So I said, I'm going in alone, and no dog, no human, no SMTV, no work, nothing. And immediately I had such a peace, such a, oh, such a gladness, just such a contentment. And that was the only time. But later on, because uh, many things are not correct with the SMTV work when I am not there, so later I cannot just let go. So I, I don't know if I'm really in retreat. I try my best, but it's not all that, okay? Understand? Yes. yes. It's not the normal retreat. It just maybe better than nothing, okay? Yeah, I told you already before, it is, it's not 100% effective. Yes, so What can I do? I'm only one. I have to do many things. I spread myself too thin. <laughs> Okay, next question, or if you are satisfied already? Yes, Master. Uh, about that question, yeah? Yes. yes. Because of your energy is too coarse, yeah? Your level is not high enough. That's why, okay? That's why I lose. During retreat, sometimes, because of emergency, because the dog died, I've seen the dog sometime, and after that, immediately chaotic. Immediately. So, related to that, if disciples should not come near Master within nine meters, mm-hmm. what about when Master talks with disciples over the phone? Yeah, well, what about it? I will lose for sure, because you will air it on TV also for the whole world to see, not just you. I had to sacrifice, no? Yes, Master, thank you. Thank you, Master. What else to do? I know all that, but I still do it. Even uh, the, the gods, uh, gods and ultimate master will warn me. I say I have to. Even my dog tell me. Even my dog, they, uh, some of them try to really create trouble uh, with my working system so that I stop working. They did on purpose even. I said, don't do it again. I do it voluntarily. I have to because no one else would do it the way I do. I tell all the dogs, oh, please stop it. So they did stop. They wanted to protect me. They say humans are not worthy for you to sacrifice until you're worthless and helpless and powerless like that. 
I say, don't mind my business. Mm. Yeah. So now you know. <laughs> I see. You know the whole truth. Yeah. I. I have to. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, Master. At least they protect you and uh, and uh, your brother and sister initiates. Okay. Yes, Master. If other people don't listen, at least I'm warning you guys, my disciples. Because if I don't tell, they would not know, okay? Yes, Master. Many of them don't even watch TV anymore, and they don't know the news. Right. And I'm, they might be too careless. And they also have their family members, who also they think it's okay to let them go out and carelessly and no protection. Yes. Yeah, so I have to tell at my own expense. There's uh, since decades already. What what to talk about now? The gods told me this, told me that, but I don't do what always the gods told me. Yeah? Okay? Yes, Master. Master, in a conference with disciples in the Newland Ashram, Master said that her dogs have lots of secrets to share. If it's allowed, could we please hear more about it? Mm, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told you some of it already, no? Yes, Master. Of course. And sometimes they tell me that this person uh, is no good for you, uh, that person is not good for you. But these are personal things I don't want to tell, okay? Yes, Master. Yeah, they have many secrets to tell me because I don't notice. Uh, for example, just for example, okay? Uh, like uh, they told me certain such person is no good for you because he's uh, kind of uh, uh, oh I don't know if I can say it. physically attracted one want me physically understand me yes and uh, uh, and he has this kind of uh, uh, lowly desire energy yeah. Oh. Um, I said, yeah, but I don't feel anything. <laughs> I said, I don't feel anything from him. What are you talking about? So the dog said to me, because your worth, your purity protected you. Oh, I see. Yeah. For example, like that, okay? Yeah. And uh, they told me this and that person are this and that, not good for dogs, not good for me. But sometimes I have no choice, huh? Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't have enough people to take care of my dogs. And then, but later on, I change, yeah? I say, I will change when I have a better choice. But I have to wait for the karma to wear off also. I cannot always change when I want. Okay, huh? Yes, Master. Oh, uh, I, I also know myself many things. But because I don't act on it, so the dog remind me. Understand? Yeah? Yes, Master. Yeah. They protect me many times. Yeah, <laughs> one time it was very funny. <laughs> one of the dog, the black big dog, we told me, hey, that person, you know, the man, he is in love with you. I say, really? And he is so young and good looking. I'm so old. How can he be in love with me? He said he is. Uh, I say I don't feel anything. So they say he's good. But you don't fall in love with him. I said, what? No way. <laughs> I said, what are you saying? I said, I said so. And then I said, okay, I tease her. I said, so what if I fall in love with him? Huh? What's that got to do with anything or with you? Huh? So she said, if you fall in love with him, peace will be ruined. Oh. I said, what, what peace? World peace? She said, you know, personal, your peace. So I said, Wow, I'm scared. <laughs> but by the way, do you see any peace around me in my private life anyway? <laughs> I said, ah, thank you. Yeah. You gossip a lot, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thing like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, what and what person? Uh, jealous with me? Something like that, you know? Yeah. Jealous with me and... and uh, have not a good intention inside, not a very good, to res not respectful uh, inside, yeah? I say, never mind, that's their, their problem. Yeah, if they respect me, they have a good merit and a better 
spiritual progress. If they don't, uh, that's their own uh, choice. I, I cannot do anything. Mm. I cannot tell them what. Okay. Uh, for example, like that. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Yes, master. And they also tell me about a vegan world and stuff like that. But uh, as I told you, if it's a secret, then I cannot tell you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Master, in a previous conference, Master mentioned that she could cast a new protective ring around the world to help during this difficult time on Earth. Mm. How does this po protective ring work? And would casting this new ring cost Master a lot of power? It works like protecting the planet so it don't explode. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, that's the second time, okay? The first time I cast is for peace. The second time is for for physical protection of the planet, okay? Oh, wow. And that the people, whoever still can live here, is safe, okay? Oh, thank you, Master. So that comets will not hit our planet, for example. Oh. Yeah? Or the sun flare will not burn up our world. Oh. Yeah, many things could happen. Of high tsunami will not destroy cities. Hmm? Mm. Wow. Thank you, Master. Uh, and of course, it costs me some. What do you think? Uh, any free lunch in this world? No, Master. They say there's no free lunch, and that's what it is, okay? You sacrifice so much for us. Just the same as you ask me how about well, if I talk to you, <laughs> now you air me on TV. You understand me? Yes. It costs me every day, everything, all the time. Every day I had to uh, suffer some something, some setback also. Something, so big or small, it depends on the day. Yeah. Yeah. What to do? Hmm? Shall I just sit here and protect my life and don't care about anything else? Huh? <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you master, master, for all you do. You're welcome. I'm surprised that you asked this question. <laughs> yeah. Who who is who is this question? Brother or sister? All over, right? Uh, yeah. From you also, okay. Um, Master, now that the zealous demons are gone, will Master's life become substantially easier? A little, yeah, <laughs> yeah. In a way, yes. I feel like as if my body uh, has no more weight. Yes. Uh, In some way, but 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 the world is still there, okay? Yes. The world, is, <laughs> the world is also some kind of zealous spirit, okay? Yeah, because they do, not many people change. They do change, but not the whole world change. And they still suffer and they still struggle. And and as long as I live in this world and as long as the world still exists, I I don't have any easy life, okay? Huh? Yes. But it seems decades already. It's nothing new. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing new. Master, is there a way to clear out Maya's and the demon's lingering energy faster so that humans can wake up and change faster and the world leaders will act more benevolently and wisely and be more likely to act a vegan law? Oh, I wish. I wish. It's embedded in their beings already. Understand me? Yes, Master. This, this is in DNA, in life after life. Uh, decades after decades, uh, eon after eon already, century after centuries, okay, huh? Yeah. Maybe next generations will be better if humans still survive. I hope we wake up. Yeah. Mm, I hope so too. <laughs> it's not easy, okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma You're dealing with people who have got power sleeping inside, and outside it's just acting like the opposite. Yeah? Yes. They have free will also. Okay? And you can't tamper with that. Just like in America, they say they have constitutional rights. So every time if somebody do something wrong, uh, the court have to do according to constitution. Yeah? yeah? They cannot just say, oh, you're wrong. Let's say go to prison. And then uh, without lawyer, without judgment, without the court case without a jury. Yes, yes. Ah, that is that. That is that. So humans doing right or wrong, uh, that just has to be, okay? 
nobody can control their mind or do anything, except they themselves wake up, okay? Yes, willing, Master. willing to wake up, voluntarily wake up, and really understand what is it all about, like benevolence, compassion, loving, kindness, and protective to other beings, weaker and defenseless beings like animals. Okay? Yeah. Yes, Master. But they have been better already. They are better for the poor already. They help the poor everywhere. Yeah. They help the refugees. They help the immigrants. Yeah? Yes, yes. Master. That's already very good. COVID-19 make people softer already, much softer, okay? Yes. yes. There are donations everywhere. There are even handicapped people walking miles or walking steps to raise money, yeah? Yes. For the related pandemic cost, yeah? Even children, yeah, five, six years old, walking in a handicapped way to raise money. That's very touching, okay? Yes, yes Master. So this awakens also people. In, in some way, some of their good quality comes out, yeah? Yes, mm. yes Master. And before, nobody cared much about the homeless, yeah? Mm. Mm. yeah? And now, the government even spending tens of millions, you know, in different countries to, to buy a hotel or to rent houses for the homeless to go inside, to stay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, before, also in Taiwan, I asked uh, your brother and sister initiate to take in the homeless, yeah, whoever yeah. want to come yeah. in with us. So it's starting <laughs> to have some ripple effect, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am very happy in some way that the government even spent millions, you know, to buy a hotel, just sixty some rooms even. To let the, the homeless go in and stay instead of staying in the cold in the in the tent. Even you have a tent, but it's cold outside. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Master. When I was in Japan, I have a wood a wood cabin, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I have everything. It's just your brother and sister took took them all <laughs> away from me. Even SMC, the whole ashram, they took up for you know, I had to go and live in this. You know, a little storage in the backyard, you know, right? Okay? Yes. yes. And in my private house, I let them come up and meditate, and I have to go and live in the cave hmm? next door. I, I made the cave for that case. <laughs> I know one day I would need it. <laughs> anyway, and then I keep living in that cave and become used to it. Yeah. For example, like that. And so, one time I was in Japan. Yeah? I had a cabin there, yeah? Wood cabin in the wood, yeah, with the stream next to it. Oh, it's romantic. I love it so oh. much. Yeah. And the wood all over me, yeah? Mm. You can walk for miles inside the wood, you know, and bra bathing in all this gentle, kind and loving energy from the trees, yeah? Mm. Mm. But then I cannot go there anymore. They are meditating. <laughs> if I go there, it, it means work. You understand me? <laughs> Not romantic walk anymore, but it be work. Yeah, wherever I go, anywhere now, it just work. And one time I was there uh, in winter, yeah? Mm. In winter, they didn't come for meditation at that time. Uh, so I went there to stay, I don't remember how long. And uh, there is a house, of course, the wooden cabin, yeah? But I uh, put up a tent outside. I think there may be a recording somewhere about that. Uh, I wear, I wear just like a pajama and outside a vest, and I put up a small tent outside, a one-person tent outside in the garden, yeah. And it's only about I don't know, about ten degree minus, yeah. But it's so cold, so cold. Inside there are snow, kind of a snow pattern all over inside my tent. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. The the water became uh, became snow inside. Wow. Yeah, it, it's all over in the wall of the tent, yeah? And I even have thick blanket and all that. And I have a little heater inside, still very cold, understand me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So so I understand how how the the homeless people feel when they have to live in tent, in winter even. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's good that some government, like Canadian government, uh, also renting house for them now. And uh, which country that spent $13 million 
for the homeless. I forgot which one is that. I thought it was Canada, or maybe I'm wrong. Oh, is it? It's on on our TV. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't watch TV that much. I just left it on all day or night, you know. Yes, master. But I cannot watch even our TV because I have no time. Number one, number two, I minimize as much as possible. Yeah, because I have to work for SMTV already. I have to see all the show in case, yeah, in case they went wrong, just like always. <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyway, or better than not, your brother and sister and you yourself, try your best already. I know, but sometimes you are disturbed and the world, karma also, everything went wrong together, yeah? It's not your fault alone, okay, huh? Yeah. That's why I always forgive you. <laughs> and I probably, very much likely, continue to forgive. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Do I have any choice? <laughs> <laughs> I'm practicing forgiveness <laughs> forever, forever, ever since I have disciple. Okay, next one. Master said that when beings go to the fifth level, they mm. still have 1% ego left. Mm -hmm. How about when souls are uplifted to the newly created spiritual land by Master? Is there still some ego left? No, no more. Oh, wow. After, after the fifth level, there's no more ego. Only the fifth level. Oh, yes. And even maybe half, but like no half, you know, like 0. 0.0000, 1%, 000, <laughs> for example, like that, yeah? Okay. Wow. Yeah. But in the new land, no, no, nobody with ego can go there. Wow. Because you won't pass through the, the gate, yeah? yeah? You will bust into nothingness. Yes. <laughs> you have to leave everything behind, everything, especially the ego, yeah? You become brand new born, baby of the universe. Oh, thank you, Master. Yeah, okay. When souls go to the newly created spiritual land by Master, mm -hmm. would there be any remaining memory of their past life on Earth? And if they see that there is still suffering on Earth, is it possible that just by a mere wish that they'd come down here again? maybe in support of Master's mission, if Master is still here on Earth? Mm -hmm. mm. They will not remember anything of their past lives on Earth. i tell you why. Because this world, and the world all the way up to the, the ten, is, is all illusion. It's, it's, it's all illusion. It's like uh, you watch the movies, okay? Yeah. And you push a button, everything erased. If you want to, you can. You can look like people look into the crystal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, people up there, they cannot even contact this world, okay? My dog, Nairo, the one that died recently, yes? yes. Oh, I cry so much. I miss her so much because I wanted to hug her at least. I. I feel so bad because I went to another place to do retreat, understand, for more peace and quiet, and then she died all by herself like that, and I, I, I could not forgive myself, understand? Yes, yes. Master. Even though I had to do what I had to do, I know it's all illusion, but I love her so much, <sighs> because she loves me so much. That is the thing, okay? It's reflection, yeah? Yes. Mm. I don't love them as much as they love me. And no one on this planet ever loved me as much as my dogs. That's why I love them. Their love is completely pure, unconditional. They could die for me any time. And they love me day in, day out, every day, every minute of the day. No wanting anything except to love me. And even if I don't see them, they continue loving me and understanding and waiting for the day they can see me. They don't think of anything else, don't want anything else. Not in this world, not heaven, nothing. They don't care about heavens even. My dog, she went to new spiritual realm. And because I, I, I miss her so much, I cry so much, even during retreat. So the day, the second day that she left the body, she came back down to a lower level. She asked permission to come down to a low level to send me a very quick message before she cannot get back in. If you go too low, you cannot get back up, yeah? So she sent me a message, she said, Love from Nairo. 
Oh, oh my gosh. That's all. Just love from an idol. Just three words. That's all she can. And then zoop. They, you know, they fish it back up. You know, they push it back up. Yes. Uh, so, if you want to come back to this world, there will be conditions, of course. You will suffer and just like Jesus or, you know, other masters who are flay alive and who are strangled or buried alive and all that stuff. You will. They will not forgive you. It's better you don't ever come back. I told all my dogs and all my people up there, stay up, stay put. I don't allow anyone to come down. When you come up, you don't remember anything up here anymore. Yes, yes Master. Master. Because to you, it's too clear that it's just nothing. Yeah. For me, I'm struggling every day to, to suppress my knowledge that this world is nothing. It's just a shadow of the real. It's just a true illusion. And sometimes I say, why am I toiling so much like this, just for illusion? Because I don't want to, it just... I don't know how to, to explain it. I just could walk away, yes, yes, because it's all illusion anyway. But then... But then I can not forget that I also suffered before. I was made to suffer so that I understand that in this illusionary world, people suffer, animals suffer, all beings can suffer as a real thing. The suffering is real. Yes. So I try to hang on to that memories of all my suffering. Uh, past lives, present lives, in order to continue my work to help others. Yes, yes, Master. Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. Very difficult for me. Sometimes I struggle, okay? I struggle to, to, to retain all this suffering memory so that I can understand that I have to continue to work. Uh, I suppress the understanding that this world is nothing. It's all illusion. Okay, huh? Yeah? Yes, yes Master. Thus, when you go up to the new spiritual realm, you will not think of, of anything, okay? You are too busy enjoying creating, it's just bliss for life. Mm. Nothing disturb you, not even one word of sorrow or pain in the dictionary. Wow. You don't even talk, okay? You just, <laughs> <laughs> you, you just know everything and you're just happy all the time. <laughs> There's nothing that make you remember the world down here. And with all your wisdom up there, you know it's nothing here. It's nothing at all. Like an empty space here. Yes, yes. And like a puppet show. Wow. Yeah. How would you sit there in the puppet show theater and wanting to continue to stay there or to rescue that puppet? Huh? <laughs> no, of course not, okay? The people who... Uh already in the new spiritual realm, they would not think of coming back to this world. It would be very rare, except for the highly positioned master, completely compassionate, uh, and also very powerful. Otherwise, um, most of the ordinary souls, they will not think of coming back here, because nobody would like to go back to a septic tank after they can get out of it already. That is uh, one of the examples. Another example is that, just like if you go to the movies to see a, a film in a the movie theater, and while you are watching it, you might be crying, laughing, or getting angry with some characters in there, and all your emotion or your concentration are all in the film, as if it's real, as if it's happening with you in it. But after you watch the movies already and the lights turn on and the film is uh, finished, you, you would know. Even just a few seconds ago, a few minutes ago, you were still angry, stamping your feet or maybe shouting even because of some scenes in, in the movies that provoke your emotion. 
and your reaction. But after the film turned off, how you just went home? You know, it's just a movie, no matter what, even though you were so much involved in it while, while you were watching it. But when the film ends, you just went home, or you just turn off your computer if you watch it on there, or if you watch on TV screen, you turn off, and you know, it's just a, a play. You would not insist sitting where you were at the theater and try to figure out how to save the character in the movie. So that is like that. So only truly highly evolved things and masters, they really sacrifice to come down to this world to help all beings. Like that. Yes, Master. All right. Master, what is the difference between how reincarnation is controlled by the karmic laws of the Lord of the Third Level versus the controlling machines? Ah, the controlling machine are not from the Third Level, okay? Mm. The Third Level God, He created this, this uh, physical domain, yeah? Yes, yes, so yes. He's possessive of it. He doesn't want any soul to leave. That's why they fight so hard with me. They even apologize to me that we don't want to uh, obstruct you, we don't want to trouble you, but we have to look at the, our world, our shadow world. You are taking all the souls up, and then what will we do? Oh. Yeah, really, they apologetically told me that, with all respect. I say, you have to do it. It's all illusion, and you make all beings suffer for all the illusion that you created. I don't want to allow that anymore. You just have to live with me, go up to the new spiritual realm, or don't hurt beings anymore. Then I let you rule. And whatever souls still want to stay here with you, I will let them. But whatever souls want to go back home or go to my new realm to enjoy forever, then you just have to let them go. I told him, I don't force anybody. It's all free will. If they pray to me, I help them. That's it. If they want to stay here, I let them. It's just that you make them suffer so much, so unfairly, many times, over and over again, and you, you and your lower rims, gods and supporting it, create so many trouble, many traps, many tricks, so that the soul and trap in the body doing wrongs, and then you punish them, and then they cannot go anywhere, and then go, go back and forth again from this life to the next, and forever recycle in suffering. That's I cannot bear. I told him that. And the machine is different, okay? Hmm. That is created from another planet. Yes. Yeah, from a more uh, high-tech planet than ours, okay? Yes. yes. And they're dumb, whoever they don't like into our planet. You got that? Yes. And they create all that machine, the controlling machine, so that these souls, these beings, cannot return home to them, because they deem them troublemakers. These beings are maybe more intelligent or more kind of uh, a revolutionary type, yeah? Yes. So they don't like it. They want everything just like black and white, okay? Uh, they don't like any new new idea, new system, new anything. Yeah. Well, it's similar to our planet as well, don't you think? Yes, Master. That's why they kill Jesus, because it's something they think is new. Yeah? And they kill all the Masters as well, because they don't understand anything. Uh, they look like new to them uh, uh, compared to the established religion. Yeah? Yeah. So they just kill them like that. Yeah? It's similar to the system of this other planet. They are super in, in uh, technology, but they don't have spiritual uh, knowledge. They don't have this kind of yearning for better spiritual uh, uh, life, okay? Yes, Master. They don't have the high moral standard. They don't, they're just good at technology, that's all. So this machine is to control their people, yeah, who they dump on the planet as a prisoner. Hmm? And then, uh, if uh, these uh, people die, they make them live again into another body, okay? Because they can create a body also, or they can borrow body from other newborn babies and stuff like that. Yeah. 
And slowly, slowly, uh, these people also became human, and they forget everything, where they came from. But some of them still retain half of the memory, so they can create better things yeah, for this planet, because uh, of the high-tech uh, knowledge that they, some of them still retain. Okay? Yes, yes Master. But uh, they cannot get out of this planet, ever. With, with all these uh, controlling machines, as well as hosting some of their uh, uh, tech uh, experts, you understand? And, and guards, their own uh, police from, from higher planet. They take turns to come down to control. Therefore, people cannot get out. But the karma is uh, from the, the system of the three worlds, okay? They use the karma, like as you saw, so shall you read, to control the soul, so they forever be trapped in here, happy or sad, uh, rich or poor, depends on what they did. Mm. Yes. And I've been reading some uh, uh, the, some of the book of the Buddhist Tripitaka. They tell many of other Buddha stories, yeah? When I have time, <laughs> when we can, <laughs> when I ever have time, I'll read it to you. I promise the boys, your brothers, but I haven't done it. Yes. I don't know if I ever have. I read the whole one of the book of Tripitaka already, and I read others and also other religions' story, but I don't know if we have time, yeah, <laughs> because we are busy. But at least you are here all the time. You know, you are in your working environment, protected, and you are always ready, so any time we can have a conference, yeah? Mm. Yes, Master. Yeah, Thank but you. I cannot have any conference with your brother and sister outside, because right now they are all locked down, eh? Or they are they are not gathering any center at all, yeah, because of the pandemic, okay? Right. So even I want to talk to them or they want to ask me questions, they cannot. So you are their mouthpiece, okay? Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. I'm surprised at all of your questions today. You're very good, very new. <laughs> yeah. It's not a usual pattern, you know. Very new and very good, good, well, well put, yeah. Uh, so, uh, did I explain enough about the different the machine and the karma? Yes, I think so, Master. Ah, uh, good, good, okay. But I replaced the third level God already, you know, right? Yes. So, so it's easier for me to take the souls up. If He is still there, even repenting people will not get away. Whoa. No, He will not let, because He will show me the book of karma. Oh. You understand? And if it's his domain and his creation, then he he can he can bargain, he can control. Understand me? Yeah. Yes. But because he's so greedy, if he just let me work, you know, and I I play fair, I just whoever listen to me and want to go up, then I take up. Uh, but he's greedy. He don't want. So now he lose everything. <laughs> he lose also his position. <laughs> Poor guy. I'm sorry, but I had to, okay? I don't want to work with these uh, uncooperative beings. They obstruct me too much. And I don't want people to come back and forth all the time suffering this illusionary dream, yeah? Mm. Just like they have nightmare all the time. Sometimes nightmare, sometimes a little good dream, but it's all dream in this world. Yes, Master. But they suffer, just like in, in, the, in the dream, in the nightmare, you suffer just like real, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, some people, they have such a terrible nightmare, they wake up sweating all over even, yeah? And and still scared for, 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 for days or weeks or months. Couldn't sleep well, couldn't eat well, because of such a traumatized uh, dream, that nightmare that they had, yeah? Okay? Yeah. yeah. In this world, it's the same like that. It's just more more sophisticated dream, more high-tech dream. So it looks so real, yeah? And they suffer a few more real and longer the whole life. Master, you're at such a high spiritual level beyond our understanding. It must be very difficult for Master to stay and function in this physical realm. What is it like now for Master to live here in the physical realm? How is Master able to stay? Mm. Yeah, as I mentioned a little earlier, I'm struggling also, okay? Yeah. Yes. But I had to deal with it, huh? otherwise I won't function, okay? But it's difficult for me also to function sometimes. Like my hand grabbing things, I told you, it keeps falling. Oh, yes. 
as if my energy is different from my hand. Wow. Yeah. But I have to shut some doors in order to continue to live here. Hmm? I have to concentrate on humans, on the suffering of the animals, of all that is painful and sorrowful to the beings here in order to identify myself with them and not forgetting to help them. Understand me? Yes, Master. If I concentrate on the other side, like, all oh, this is illu illusion, as I know it so clearly, like you look into the mirror knowing that is your face, but it's not your face. You understand me? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Just like you look in the mirror, it looks like you, huh? Yes. yes. But you know it's just a reflection, a mirror, okay? Yes. As soon as you walk away, there's nothing in the mirror anymore. It's similar like that to the enlightened person situation. Wow. That you know is all illusion, but you have to stay to help because that's what you are here for. That's why you came down. Hmm? Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. Yeah, I have to struggle every day to remind myself that I'm here just for the suffering beings. No matter if I know it's illusion or not. Okay? Yes. yes I shut. I shut myself. I shut some doors. I shut some of the knowledge. I shut some of the deep understanding so that I can continue to be like a human. Okay? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. Thank you, Master. Oh, you're welcome. That was our last question, Master. Oh, good, good. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're so quiet, I thought there would be no more. No. <laughs> Any more extra question after I answer you? Anything not clear? You can ask extra. Um, Master, um, when we go out and contact other people, we should come back and isolate ourselves. But uh, that includes other disciples too, right? Yeah, everybody, not just you. Yes. Do you think I, I tell all that just for the in-house staff? Because some disciples think that it's okay to see other disciples. I don't know how they function outside. But I have said clearly, no group meditation, okay? Right, yes. That means no seeing other disciples. Hmm? Yes. Yes, yes. Master. Yeah. But if they, they want to live their life the way they want, I don't have any authority to forbid anybody to do what they want in their life, okay? Yes, yes. yes yeah. Master. I just guide them. But it's very difficult for them also not to see anybody. You understand? Yeah. Yes. That's a human's nature. They love to group, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> they love to see others and they love to chat and all that stuff. And I, I can just shake my head and thinking, you know, why do they want all that? <laughs> you know, why do they have to chat to other people just for nothing? And chat nonsense and no, no really important things. Or why do they have to need other people's company, yeah? Or the more, the merrier. I don't understand all that, but still, it's okay. It's their life, you know. Mm. They cannot just uh, shut themselves out of the society altogether, just like the way I would like to do, because it's their habit. Okay, it's their habit. They love to have friends. They love to have company. Uh, they feel lonely if they are alone. Yes, master. So I, I tell you again and again with all this conference, so that they be more vigilant, yeah? And less contact better, okay? Mm. Yes, Master. But I cannot forbid people. Yes, I understand. Yeah, especially, especially in uh, some country where they declare uh, safe already, yeah? Yeah. Like, for example, Vietnam, they declare no more COVID-19 infection, yeah? Uh, some weeks ago, right? Some months ago, yeah. I'm not sure how is it now, but sometime uh, the pandemic returned, uh, second wave or third wave already uh, in some countries. So you can never be really careful enough, yeah? Yes. yes. That, that's why I waste all my retreat time to keep in all this conference, hoping that you guys take heed or at least be very, very careful, yeah? Be protective of yourself. And the rest is up to you guys. 
I am not the government or president. I cannot make a law to forbid people. Mm. Yes, Master. And these disciples, maybe they believe that the other disciples are not sick. Yeah? They miss each other, so they have to see each other, so they take risk. Okay? Yeah. Yes, what, Master. What am I to do? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Hmm? Huh? Lock their house? <laughs> throw the key in the sea? <laughs> Uh, people don't know what it's like to be in solitude. They don't understand the, the joy of it. Most people don't, okay? Yeah. That's why they marry, even though miserable, they stay with each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's why they have children, even though it's all terrible hard work. They like, okay? They like to be together in a group, at least uh, two people. Hmm? husband and wife, or boyfriend girlfriend, yeah. just human, eh, they like it. Maybe because of the memory of heaven, you understand? And heaven, people, they don't have separation from each other. Ah, hmm? oh, I see. Yes. Even if they're not with each other, they always know each other. Uh, they always feel the near nearness, okay? Yes. For some reason. And if they want to visit each other, just by the thought, they'll be there already. Yeah? And in heaven, they don't uh, have, uh, sorry, uh, sexual activity. So to bear children through through uh, a human uh, corporal contact, yeah. So so they adopt, okay. <laughs> uh, normally, they would adopt from a lower uh, level. They bring them up to the higher level, yeah. Yes. yes. So they would concentrate and send a beam of uh, benevolence and. Uh, uplifting energy to the person of their choice, and that, if that person uh, uh, also like to adopt them, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that person have to go through some cleaning system first, and then with their beam of light go up, and then they will uh, try to surround that person for a long while to give them more uh, higher energy, yeah. Mm. Just like uh, here, we have a blood transfusion. Yeah? Yes, Master. Or maybe uh, organ donation? Yeah? Okay. Up there they give energy, okay? And then they will adopt that person into their family, okay? <laughs> oh. Yes. Um, the Buddha and uh, other uh, saints in the old time, when the Buddha is still alive, he told many stories about that, that uh, when they are benevolent, morally high or virtuous, then they were born into a uh, high heaven to make the, uh, how you say, the heavenly uh, population uh, uh, increase. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what they said. Yes. It's similar to this adoption system. Okay? If you cannot go up there by yourself, and if somebody adopts you, then you can go up hmm? oh. also. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same here, no? Somebody, if you cannot apply to go to America, huh? But you are in the uh, how you say adoptable age, and somebody in America adopt you, and you can go there and live like American, no? Yes. yes. Yeah. For example, like that. Yeah, you know, right? Yes, master. Yeah. Uh, and if you want to be American and you have like green car lottery, then you can go also. <laughs> <laughs> Or if you are qualified to some kind of uh, highly demanded job, then you, you can also apply. Yeah? Mm. And if you have no criminal record or everything good, you have no debt, no trouble at all, then you can also apply and become American citizen or maybe European citizen, for example, Yeah, anywhere. Yes. Yeah. Or you pay money a lot or you make a business in some country or you buy a big house, big property. And then you can also go there live, yeah, slowly become citizen. Hmm? Okay. It's similar, but it's different. <laughs> uh, okay then. You happy with my answers? Yes, yes master. master. Anything not clear? Everything's clear. <laughs> all clear, yeah? Yes, yes, all clear. Yeah, and no more questions? No. no, no more questions, Master. It's good. Then I have to uh, quit now and to do my homework <laughs> for SMTV. I guess it would take me the whole night, uh, but I must meditate also. Yes, I must. If not, everything is will be more chaotic, you know.
At least I keep my head above water, no? Yes, Master. Because it's so much the karma, you know, not just the disciples alone, but the whole world. Yeah. Yes, Master. Because we uh, have SMTV broadcasting everywhere. Okay? So, yes. somehow their karma will be lessened, no? Mm. And maybe they uh, will be uh, somehow awakened and uh, in a higher moral uh, standard. So it's easier for, for me to help them. You understand? Yes, Master. Yeah, okay then. My hand also gets <laughs> holding the telephone all this time. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Master. Okay, love. So uh, bye for now, huh? <laughs> yes, thank you, Master. Thank you for your time and all your sacrifice. No problem. Okay, I volunteer. Huh? All right. <laughs> and may God protect you. May you feel God love. May you feel heavenly blessing all the time. Oh, thank, thank you, Master. Especially in the time of a low uh, energy. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Master. <laughs> oh, when you feel disturbed by the 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 world uh, a strong uh, unfavorable energy okay mm. thank you master may, may you pray pray to God and may you feel the blessing and protection thank you master okay all right I I maybe talk to you next time okay okay yes. <laughs> bye master we love you uh, be loved be uh, blessed uh, be happy healthy and everything good for you. Ciao. Ciao. Good you. for you, Master. The next day, on July 30th, 2020, our most beloved Master spoke again with some of our Supreme Master television team members in a follow-up phone call. You see, no matter, sometimes because of work, you know, we have uh, some uh, problem or a little different way of doing, okay? Yeah, because of work, but nothing yeah. personal, okay? Yes. <laughs> I really appreciate all of you, all of you, men, women, and uh, old and young alike, because quite a few came, you know, and they, they cannot bear it. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Yeah, sometimes, because of too much work and, and the work pressure on me, you know. It's like, imagine, it's like you dive in the sea, yeah? Yeah. Deep, deep in the ocean bottom, even with oxygen, but you feel very pressured because of the, the, the immense force of water around you. Yes. 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 Yeah, imagine that. That's how your master feels. Oh. Often. And I have to really be strong in order not to be squashed. Oh. <sighs> if you ask any heavenly being, if you happen to see them and ask them whether or not they would like to come here just for a few days, <laughs> for fun, <laughs> they will shake their head. <laughs> they don't like it. They look upon our world like septic tank, okay? Yeah. And uh, the thing we eat here, even very delicious and we think it's wonderful and all that, for them is like garbage. Yeah. They think we are eating garbage. Yeah, and why we eat this, we eat that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, uh, they don't like our world at all, okay? Yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, Master. Similar to some Master, they have to to really forget heaven in order to stay on earth, yeah? They really have to forget their status in order to be a human. So a lot of pressure, okay, huh? Yeah, guys? Yeah. Yes, Master. Yeah. <laughs> I, yesterday I wanted to tell you, if you have any provocative kind of question, just ask me, you know? Like uh, criticizing me, stuff like that, just to see how I react. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I forgot to tell you, because I have to do many things, you know already, right? Yeah. Yes, Master. Yeah, I have to be my own housekeeper, my own laundry man, my own makeup artist, my own dress selector. And uh, my own hairdresser, even though it didn't look very much of the of, of a hairdressing, but I had to do it myself. <laughs> yeah, and uh, in the retreat, I didn't even uh, dye it blonde even. Couldn't care less anymore. I still look beautiful, tell me. 
Yes, yes. you look beautiful, yes. Master. <laughs> yeah, I believe you, of course. Yeah. That's true, Master. <laughs> <laughs> you take the five percent, you don't tell lie, right? No, we're yes. not lying. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, the tech brother, they, they make me look good also. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, or maybe they just choose where I look good, you know? The image is where I look good, then they choose it. And the rest, they just uh, discard it somewhere. Mm. Couldn't care less, you know? Yeah. If people in the future generation, they happen to dig out our archives and look at my face, they say, whoa, <laughs> what a difference. <laughs> who Who is this one? Who is this one? Must be her elder sister. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, okay, my God. These are all fake anyway, it's all illusion. Ah, all right then. The tree can talk also. They talk to me. Yeah. Wow. If you quiet down, you know, and uh, you continue practicing, then, then uh, I mean, except us. You know, we work for nothing, yeah, just for food. But, <laughs> <laughs> like, if they don't have a karma to get married or children and all that, just have a simple job, they can always go inward, mm-hmm. yeah, whenever, yeah. To live alone, you can control your life easier, yeah. Yes. And you don't be influenced by anything, by other partner, karma, or their own opinion. Sometimes their opinion is lower than you, and then they drag you down also, yeah? Yes. <laughs> but if you are just single and have just a, a normal job, and then uh, in the free time, you just eat your meal, and then you meditate, and live your life as simple as possible, then you will be more and more in tune with everything, mm-hmm. more in tune with nature, mm-hmm. except for us, because we're busy, we have to work. Yes. We have to work no matter what time, what day, but don't worry, I'll take you up to heaven. I won't leave you behind. Thank you, Master. Even if you don't have enough time to meditate, but don't be lazy, don't make excuse. Yes. Yes. That's not a guarantee sign, okay? <laughs> Oh, uh, guarantee bill. Sign is German. Yeah. Guarantee uh, bill is not. Okay. You still need to be sincere and do as much as you can. Yes, Master. Mm-hmm. So that also not to burden me, because I have a lot of work, you know. Yes, Master. Today the squirrel come again and jump in on top of the roof all the time just wow. to get my attention. Mm-hmm. And then I say, what now? And she told me, what, what? I said, all right, I knew it already, my God. <laughs> because inside, you know, the the protectors already told me. They say, don't don't bring dogs to you. I miss my dogs so much, and I love them so much. I was toying, you know, with the idea <laughs> to bring them. Just have a look at least, but they keep telling me, don't, don't, because they will disturb your peace. Of course, I know meditation is uh, crucial right now, and, and in, in retreat you should not see any one of your relatives and friends. Yeah. I just miss my dogs because they are missing me. That's the problem. If only I miss them, then that's uh, easy. Yes. It's just they love me more than I love them, I have to say the truth. Mm-hmm. They miss me more than I miss them. Because I'm busy. Yes. yes. Yeah, I have things to do, I'm distracted somehow, but the poor dogs, they have nothing to do. Yeah. They cook up in, in the room all day, except when they go out with the girls and all that. And, and I cannot even see how they treat them apart from just the report every couple of two or three days. But in the beginning, when I first left, and I say report every day. But later on, because it's a almost like routine, so I say report, you know, every two or three days. Unless emergency, yeah? Yes. So I have to just rely on that, on whatever they have written to me. I don't know how my dog fare over there. My heart don't feel peace. Yes. Because I uh, I adopted them when they had no one. I yanked them out of the jaw of death, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I am the only one that they they can trust, yeah? They feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because before, whenever whoever comes, they bark and bark, you know? Yeah. Uh, except the one who, who are around me and take care of them with me. Mm-hmm. Everybody else, he bark. Work less or work more, it depends on the person's aura and, and, and intention. Yeah. And they know who is good for me, who is not. Whoever not good for me, they keep barking until they, they, they have no more voice. <laughs> so later I have to invite that person out or don't come back again when the dog's around. Yeah. Anyway, 
And just because nobody else in the whole world loved me that much. Yeah. Yes, yes. Also, and this love is just what makes me feel uncomfortable when I don't take care of them. Yeah. Yes. I love their love, uh, but they miss me so much, and sometimes it's pulling, yeah? Mm-hmm. Pulling me, and I'm tempted to ask them to bring them over to see me, you know? Yes. But then uh, they all tell me not, and it's not the first time they told me not to see the dog. Oh. And I just have to be patient, okay? I did see them a few times during retreat. Yes. Because after the the other dog died, I worried they were so miserable and hurt, you know? So I came and comforted them. Oh. And one of the caretakers also crying, Oh, oh he died, blah, blah, blah. I say, hey, hey, hey. Mm. <laughs> I'm supposed to cry, not you. Huh? <laughs> but uh, they love also the dog. One of the caretakers, very emotional. Uh, Latin American people, they are emotional, yeah, very yeah. sentimental people, yeah. Uh, when I first uh, went to Costa Rica and Mexico to lecture, and before I left, they all crying like, oh, like babies, you know? <laughs> yeah, like baby without milk. And I said, why are you crying so much? And some of them say, oh, you are living, feel like something cut a part of, of me. Oh, wow. Cut their flesh away, a part of them. That's how they felt. My God, it's terrible, and it's so difficult for me to, to live at that time. Yes. They're very, very uh, sentimental, yeah, people. Yeah. Uh, and I just feel so sorry for my dogs, that's all. Yes, Master. Having uh, me, but lately not often be able to see me at all, and, and in time of their trouble, I'm not even there. I just feel <sighs> responsible. I feel so bad. After the dog died, I have not recovered yet. Oh, yeah. Nice. And uh, the small one tell me that uh, the bigger black dog is uh, lonely. <laughs> Even though she has a mother next door, you know, they have just a transparent plastic uh, divider between them. Yeah. Yes. So the mother is next door, she's next door, but she still feels lonely. I think she's more attached to me than other dogs Mm -hmm. because she's a loner, you know. (laughs) She doesn't get on well with other dogs also. Uh Yeah. Maybe that's why. And she loves me so much that she dares to pee and poo in the house. If I don't listen to her advice. (laughs) So last time when she told me somebody is in love with me and uh, I shouldn't fall in love with him, yeah? Yes. Yes. I said, well, thank you. And then whatever happened, whoever fall in love with me, you cannot just pee poo in my house (laughs) just for that. I forbid it, okay? So next time she came back, I say, is that guy still in love with me, yeah? She said, yes. I said, don't you dare pee. <laughs> so she didn't do it then, you know. But she's the bravest one. She don't care if I uh, scolded her or threatened not to see her again and all that. Or yes. reprimand her. She just did what she had to do, what she wanted to do. Just to warn me of this and that and others, yeah? Mm-hmm. Imagine, yeah. So so brave and so selfless, yeah? Okay. Yes. Even just one guy in love with me, she peed. <laughs> and, and they took her all the long way to pee on the road already. Uh. Yeah, they pee already before they came back to the house, and then they pee all the way from my place already. So how can she keep some just to come into my house <laughs> to, to present it to me like that? Yeah, yeah. Immediately she came in and she just, you know, like pin down on the floor, and there you go. Yeah. Uh, I cannot stop it. It's so quick. <laughs> she didn't even let me, you know, uh, beware or anything. Uh, immediately inside the door and zzz, that, that. <laughs> Oh my God. And that's her thing. She did that all the time. Not often, thank God, but whenever there is some major thing, she did that. Yeah. When every other dog already stopped since long, they don't dare anymore. Before, the latest one was the small one. But she also gave up because I scolded her so much, yeah? <laughs> but this one, 
persistent up to now. She don't give up on me. Okay. Wow. I haven't got a, a chance to see why they don't want me to see my dog. Of course, it's a retreat. I should not. I should only concentrate inside. You know, everything else is is it's not important anyway. It's just that their emotion, their love, they keep pulling me sometimes when I have time. Or when I see dogs on TV, yes, <laughs> they don't give me good things to eat, but they make me edit those uh, groovy, uh, drooly uh, uh, pizza and you know those uh, recipes <laughs> <laughs> on the show, yeah, yes. you know? yeah, yeah. And I have nothing like that. Aww. I keep having to 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 see all that. <laughs> yeah. mm, what I mean is. It's not me who think of that. It just presented to me, and it's not about me that think of the dogs. It's them mm-hmm. that is very much attached to me, and they have nothing much to do except just eat and sleep and go for a walk and come back. Yes. yes. Or they have SMTV, of course, but uh, I'm not sure if they're interested in that. The only one interested in that and in in any TV is Benny. And the only one that oh. sit and watch TV. Oh. <laughs> he really sat and watch TV. Wow. <laughs> and sometimes he went behind the TV to see if there's somebody <laughs> behind. <laughs> oh. I said, Benny, you know, it's just movies. Oh. Yeah, but he went behind sometimes, have a look. <laughs> behind the TV. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then he sat and watched uh, for a long time. He can, he can watch all the time. Every other dog hates TV. <laughs> I don't know why. And uh, Happy Happy told me the TV is not good radiation for me. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And for dogs. I said, then you go to the other room. I need to watch. It was a long time ago. You know when I don't have SMTV to do? Then I wasn't sick. I wasn't humiliated. I had no problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when I have no SMTV, I'm almost like locked down from the world. Yes. Even though I'm walking around humans and do shopping sometimes, but nobody knew me, and uh, and that was a kind mm. of a relief. Yes, yes. I live like a normal person. Only the people who know you are attached to you and want something from you. Yeah. Outside people, they don't care. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. They just serve me or sell me things, and they say goodbye. They don't want other things that's the more valuable than money. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> So if I don't uh, have SMTV, I don't have people around, then I live better life. Uh, even in cave or small hut or whatever, I, I never care, yeah? Because it feels just so good, so good anywhere. And in New Land, they have many rooms and houses and all that, I never feel good, <laughs> yeah? Because there's always people around, yeah? Yeah. Even a, a little distant, but there are thousands of people, then mm-hmm. the distance is always shorter. Yeah. Yes. Because the energy is a big group, yes. and, and it's spread out. And they know I'm there, and they're always tugging at me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I have to go back to my homework now. <laughs> I have um, a lot more waiting. Thank you for forgiving me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for Thank forgiving you, us. Thank you, Master. Okay. I go, huh? Mm, God bless. Thank you, Thank you Master. Master. We love you, Master. I love you too, guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you for being here in this time of trouble water for our world. God bless you. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Master. Master. Thank you. Master. Thank you. Master. Thank you.